Welcome everyone to another edition of the Virtual Gimmick Table. This is the Man Scout Jake Manning and I'm joined by the Total Package Lex Luger. Lex, how are you doing? Today? I'm doing great. Look at all this stuff, man. I'm excited. I know. Again, yeah. all, the, all the items out on the table is no different than any other wrestling show that you go to where, you know, a live event and you haven't been able to get out to a lot of live events. No, recently. man. We've been, we've been put on ice for a while. So this is... Uh, my first time I got I got let out of the house. So I'm excited. <laughs> well, I'm glad they unlocked the door. For this is you. my first like live auction. I've never done this before. Well, I mean, I think it's great. We've only done about five of these, so I'm kind of a newbie as well. Okay. But, you know, normally you're at a live show, and this is yeah. Thursday when we're doing this. You know, this is about the time you're packing up and hitting the road for a convention and meeting and greeting some yeah. of your fans. Um, what's it like not meeting your fans? You miss hanging out with them, miss oh, shaking I, hands with everybody. I do, I do, Jake. I love interacting with the fans and. We just brings back gate, fondest memories of a 15-year career I had, and, and I really feel, uh, I didn't really quite appreciate it when I was a wrestler, active wrestling, but post-career, um, really God's given me a whole new uh, love for not just all of this, but what the fans even care about this. It blows me away how much they care about getting items like this signed and or chatting with you mm -hmm. on the... On the and the auction here and just be able to interact with them and the stories they tell from when they were kids and now then they bring their kids so I, I love doing this kind of stuff it's a lot of fun absolutely i think we have a lot of fun here tonight we're going to bring you back out for the auctions a little bit later on and but right now you're, you're going to be you're going to signing a lot of the items oh, yeah. we have out and we'll be selling this throughout the show i'll give the codes for that in a little bit those sharpies are on fire back there they'll be back my lips yeah. will be on fire there's flames talking. coming out of them <laughs> you've been you've been you've been signing away i have been and and of course you'll be personalizing some of those items for an extra five bucks as well but mm -hmm. also too um you know we you didn't have any personal items to bring but we have a very 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 personal item that we'll be auctioning off later on tonight which will be actually Ooh. a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the total package lex luger Ooh, how about that for a once in a lifetime opportunity i know any Man. question they've ever wanted to ask yeah. you any topic they've ever want to ask you that's right they will have that opportunity to auction off the opportunity to do so we'll be doing that a little bit later on in the auction so uh, are you looking forward to it? I love that. Somebody? I'm looking forward to that for sure. So yeah. you're not just talking to me the whole time. We had to get yeah. somebody else a little bit Thank cooler. Thank goodness. No. <laughs> but, but Lex, I really do appreciate you coming here. I'm going to let you get back to work. And while you do that, we'll pop up the codes right now. Um, so that way people know, you know what to sign and all that stuff. Thanks, so, Jake. I'm excited to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So... Anyways, what we're going to do is let you guys, we have the picture and the graphic up right now. Lex is furiously signing away all of the 8x10s, and we have the different uh, pictures that he'll be signing. We actually have a picture uh, and a very nice, wonderful art piece that we'll be selling for $30. But, of course, we have the 8x10s that will be up on the screen right now, which uh, the codes for those is Lex Horseman 15 we also have another one that's got a black brick wall during that Crockett NWA era. If you're interested in the Lex 8x10 of that particular one, just put Lex NWA 15. Now, if you're interested in more of the narcissist during his WWF days, make sure you put Lex WWF 15. Now, if you're also, you know, you can't really decide. You're like, I don't know. I like WCW Lex. I like... You know, Stars and Stripes, Lex. I'd rather prefer the Lex Collage. Just select Lex Collage 15. And, of course, if you're a big fan of Lex when he was a part of the Four Horsemen, just put Lex Horseman 15. Of course, it'll only signed by Lex Luger here tonight. And if you're interested in the personalizations, uh, that's an extra $5. Just add on to that. And, of course, remember, we're auctioning off that live video chat later on this evening. And, of course, we have the custom art piece that we just just got done, just hot off the presses. That would be $30 a piece. And if you're looking for that art piece to be personalized, that's an extra $5. So you can count if you're looking for it personalized, it's going to be $35. But uh, also, too, we also have signed Funkos. It's actually a two-pack Funko that has uh, Sting and Lex, but it's only signed by Lex here tonight, and we're selling this particular piece for $50. And of course, all of these items, the signed 8x10s, the posters, the Funkos, they will be available throughout the program, so uh, make sure you just put those whenever you want. You can put those at any moment in time. I know the lag's a bit of an issue, and we're working with that, but anytime that you want any one of these promos, the art piece, or the Funkos, they will be available. So, um, with that being said, just a reminder, guys, that next Thursday we'll actually have Sammy Guevara in house for the live virtual gimmick table here on th next Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, too, we're doing another auction at the owner's gimmick table 
owner's kitchen table. He's turning his kitchen table into a gimmick table this Saturday, like he does every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Saturday. And then we're doing another last merch standing this Sunday. That's two Sundays back to back. They're trying to kill me, but I got to stay alive because Fourth of July, it's confirmed. Another 12 hour sellathon, and we will have three guests in house. Most specifically, the Patriot will be in house. Sergeant Slaughter and Hacksaw Jim Duggan will be here during the 12 hour sellathon on July 4th here at the High Spots Virtual Gaming Table 12 hour sellathon, 4th of July. So, with those things said, Let's get over the rules very quickly and get through them as quickly as possible. Most of you have been following the rules correctly, but I know we have some new people coming in, so I just want to run over all the rules once again. So when I present an item on camera, if you're interested in buying said item, what I need you to do is put sold item name and the price, okay? And basically, like if I'm selling a poster for 50 bucks, I need you to put that specific price. I can't have you go sold poster 10 bucks. Nope, you did not buy it for 10 bucks. That's not how it works. No, sir. We have rules in the society, okay? You have to put sold item name and the price that we all discussed. And of course, as always, guys, it's $100 free shipping for anybody domestically in the lower 48, I believe. So anybody, $100 free shipping, that is the threshold you gotta get to. But looking at the items we have tonight, that shouldn't be hard as well. And of course, as a reminder guys, for all our UK and Canadian people, we are consolidating orders, may take a few days, but we're trying to avoid that value added tax. And that's what we're gonna do for you guys as well. Also too guys, make sure you send a message on Facebook with your email that is connected to your PayPal account. So Elizabeth, the person who's doing the invoices, get, a, get up with you about the invoices. Voices. I know that's a bit of an issue, but that's how you communicate that is by sending us a Facebook message because us as a business, as a Facebook, we cannot contact you. We need you to contact us. And if you just go ahead and send us the email that's corresponding with your PayPal account, we can get through all this very quickly. And also too, remember guys, there's a little bit of a lag. There's a 30, 40 second lag. So I'm going to present an item and talk about it and then hopefully we get it up. I know we have a lot of hard items here tonight. I try to you know, not put those out as much as possible because I know everybody's very excited about a lot of the merch we put out here on the virtual gimmick table. But we do have a couple of hard items and uh, we do apologize about that. So keep in mind the lag is maybe an issue. We're gonna figure out what that is as we go. So with all that being said, let's get going and sell some stuff here on the High Spots virtual gimmick table. First item up, of course, you guys love turnbuckle pads. And I, and I almost didn't put this on the sale. This is a last minute edition, but I know you guys love turnbuckle pads. We're gonna start with an impact, bound for glory turnbuckle pad, ring used, not signed, ring used though, for $50. Ladies and gentlemen, I am selling some impact, bound for glory turnbuckle pads for $50. Dollars, ladies and gentlemen, who is going to be the first person to jump all over this impact bound for glory turnbuckle pad? Let's get a closer shot of the logo right here. Like I said, ring used from the bound for glory pay per view. Unsigned ring used though for $50. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Give them to me. First one is Justin Shelton. Justin Shelton. That's a, I think that might be a first name for you. Welcome, Justin, to the virtual gimmick table, sir. You are the first person with the Bound for Glory turnbuckle pad. Jeremy Smith. Jeremy Smith. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for picking up a Bound for Glory turnbuckle pad. We have a limited amount of these, limited amount, and they go very fast. So jump all over it right now. We're accommodating for that lag as much as possible. Robert Davalos. Robert, thank you so much for jumping in, Robert Davalos. Tyree Davis. Tyree, Tyree, man. I love pulling your odors. Thank you for coming back this Thursday, Tyree. Thank you. David Cox. David Cox. David Cox, you're also a pleasure too. I love pulling every each and one of your orders every single week. And I'll be glad to put this Bound for Glory turnbuckle pad in your box, David Cox. Jonathan Francisco. Jonathan Francisco, thank you so much for picking up this Bound for Glory turnbuckle pad. They seem to be going pretty fast. I know last week we only had five. I got a few more than five on this one this week, but Just, we do. Justin Shelton said I'll take two. Just, so. Okay, Justin Shelton, we're gonna put two down. We're gonna cycle back to you. We do have a limited amount. I don't know how long much we're gonna hold this up here. Or we we're wanna at, move on? We're at seven right now. We're at seven right now. I think we have a hard 11, if I'm not mistaken. So we have four remaining Bound for Glory turnbuckle pads for all those people. Give everybody more than enough time for the lag. Like I said, a couple weeks ago, we were running on a 617 second lag. So we're trying to accommodate for all those people, anybody who is interested for this Impact Wrestling Bound for Glory ring used turnbuckle pad. So we got 
four more remaining. Tell you what, let's go ahead and set it off to the side for right now. I know we're going to sell the last four. I'm not worried about that whatsoever. So I'm going to set it over here off to the side. We'll come back to it a little bit later. And let's go move on to some of those other items. And, you know, always we kind of like to start with some signed figures. Those seem to be very popular items these days. You look up on eBay, Amazon signed figures are going for $100, $150. But here at the Virtual Gimmick Table, I have a steal for you. I actually have a signed Brutus the Barber Beefcake figure. Signed by Brutus the Barber Beefcake. It's an elite figure, and we're selling this one for $5. I only have five of them available here tonight, and I'm selling them for $50. I said five, but I have five in the count. We're selling this for $50. I just made Michael Elliott have a heart attack, okay? So, once again, we're selling this signed Brutus the Barber Beefcake for $50. $50. I only have five available. Sorry for the confusion and sorry for killing uh, the father of your children, Mrs. Michael Elliott. And Miles Kane is in for the first one? Of course, Miles Kane. Miles Kane, a man coming all the way from Oregon, sir. Thank you so much for tuning in to the virtual gimmick table. We have a lot of people wanting for five, but the next one for 50 is Jay. J.D. Espy, I appreciate you for respecting the fact that I get turned around on my words and we're selling this Brutus the Barber Beefcake for $50. 50. Five, five, zero. Zero, that's how many brain cells I had in my head when I said $5, okay? Third one is, oh no, Scott's just saying the price. So. Okay. All right. Who else is going to jump on this Brutus the Barber Beefcake for $50? I've only sold two. I have three remaining. And once again, let's get a closer look at the, this autograph right here. Nice pink in coordinates with Brutus the Barber Beefcake right here. Also, too, comes with a sign with a certificate of authenticity right here. Brutus even he even had like the the hand the sleeve warmers on right there when he signed this. And of course, it is leap figure. Just the figure alone is pretty expensive, but the fact that it is signed by Brutus. It's quite a nice piece for you to have in your collection. Okay, we get everybody more than a few seconds on that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next signed figure that I actually have. And this is a cycle back on this one. We actually have a Kane signed elite figure for $50 as well. $50, five, zero. I have five of these to sell here tonight for $50. And just go ahead and check out this autograph right here, signed by Kane himself. Like I said, the mayor of Knox County. The mayor Carsetti of Knox County, as I always say. It wouldn't be a virtual gimmick before, table. Before I give you the uh, Kane, uh, yes. the, the lag seems to have caught up. James Hebb. James Hebb. Ronnie Davalt have both picked up a Brutus figure, so we're at four. Okay, James Hebb, Ronnie Davalt. Thank you for getting that Brutus the Barber Beefcake figure. We only have one remaining here, but I have five remaining signed Kane figures. Like I said, that lag is, is giving us a nightmare here today. We're not running on a 30-second lag. No, sir, we are running on a 180-second lag right now, but we will accommodate for that. We'll give you more than enough time to be the first person to pick up this signed Kane Elite figure for $50. Dollars, ladies right. and gentlemen. Got the first three is Sean Baywick. Sean Baywick, thank you for being the first person to jump all over this sign, Kane. Emily Rose. Emily Rose. Emily Rose, a rose so sweet. And it's even sweeter because you got the second sign, Kane figure. Ronnie Davalt. Ronnie Davalt. Ronnie Davalt knows a deal when he sees it. So thank you so much for being the third person to pick up this signed Kane Elite figure for $50. I have two remaining. One remaining Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I have one remaining Brutus the Barber Beefcake for $50. Mike Smith is number four for Kane. Okay, Mike Smith is number four for Kane. Only one remaining signed Kane. This also comes with a certificate of authenticity as well. Just don't have it present to show on camera, much like I did for the Brutus. And once again, I have one remaining Brutus the Barber Beefcake for $50 as well. So Beefcake is now off the board. Nicholas De okay. Silva has picked up number five. Nicholas De Silva, thank you so much for not leaving Brutus hanging from a parasail, because you know that's bad news. So, we've got one remaining. And no more cane. J.D. Espy is number five. J.D. Espy, you have taken off the final signed figure off the virtual gimmick table. Congratulations, gentlemen. And now we will move on to, we're still in the hot start section, uh, but you guys like those signed figures? Well, let's get something a little bit more personalized. This next item is a hard five. Hard five, hard five. It is also a signed figure. It is a rare figure as well. It is a signed 
WCW Galoob figure signed by Lex. Just mere minutes ago, if anything, Lex is probably signing the other four right now, but I had him sign one so I can come on camera to sell this one to you for $60. I have a signed Lex Luger Galoob figure. Let's go ahead and get a closer shot of this figure because it's a little bit special in the sense that if you go ahead and take a look in the corner, it is the Spanish version right there. What year is that from, Jerry? What year is it from? I'll go ahead and take a look at the copyright on the back. It says 1990 would be the year that this figure came out. WCW Galoob figure. Of course, it will be signed by Lex Luger. It is a hard five on this one. Signed by Luger right there just mere minutes ago. He's signing the other four as we speak. There's varying conditions on every one of the, the figures as well. Plastic seems to be pretty well intact on most of them, and the cards seem to be okay. They are There is a little bit of wear and tear. There's a little, little bit of discoloration. Of course, we'll take a look in the back right there. All the other items right there. We'll be selling this for $60. Just put sold Lex Galoob $60 in the comment section. I have All five right. of them. Ready? The first one is Mike Smith. Mike Smith. Mike Smith. Always jumping on those signed figures. Thank you so much, Mike. Lane Thompson. Lane Thompson. Thank you so much, Lane. Lane, always a pleasure to pull your orders no matter how big or how small. Thank you so much, Lane. Ray Ducek. Ray Ducek. Always a pleasure, sir. Always a pleasure, Ray. Stephen Matthew. Stephen Matthew. Looks like that lag's catching up. We're running low. We got two remaining. And Lex Glue. one is Mike Kovacs. Mike Kovacs. All the way from Canada. Thank you so much, Mike. Now we have the sign Lex Glue for 60 bucks is off the virtual gimmick table. That's okay. If you missed out on the sign Lex Galoob, I do have another opportunity for you to get another sign Lex item. Of course, we're selling the other ones throughout the show. That the codes will appear a little bit later on. But right now, I have a signed Lex Luger book for thirty dollars. Signed Lex book. Leave right here. Open up the autograph. Let me find the autograph right here. There it is. Signed Lex Luger book for thirty dollars. Just put. Sold Lex Book 30. That's what I need on this one. I have limited amount on these as well. Let's go ahead and put Sold Lex Book 30. Of course, signed by Lex Luger. Of course, his recent autobiography, Wrestling with the Devil. Right there. Signed right here will come with a certificate of authenticity as well. Just put sold Lex Book 30. All right, I think we're gonna, we've already gone over, so we're gonna okay, we will disappoint some people. Probably. We, we will probably at this point because I know this is a very hard eight on this one. I normally do a five, but it is a limited amount. Who are the people that I get to, to talk to and hopefully don't feel bad about later? All right, first one. Nicholas Michael. Nicholas Michael. Then we have David Cox. David Cox. Always a pleasure. Put things in your box. David Cox. Arthur Ellis. Arthur Ellis. Arthur Ellis, the guy who just won the, the mega box from this past Sunday. Thank you so much, Arthur. Jordan Ekman. Jordan Ekman, uh, follower of my social media. So much. Thank you so much, for Jordan, for jumping in. I was worried you weren't going to make it here tonight. Trey Morgan. Trey Morgan. Thank you so much, Trey, for picking up the Sign Lex Luger book, which is off the virtual gimmick table right now. I don't even know why it's there. Uh, Billy and Cowie was number six. Billy and Cowie, you are number six. We should be able to accommodate to you. Stephen Harlan's number seven. Stephen Harlan, we probably should be able to accommodate for you. Make sure you pay your invoices. It's extremely important on all these hard items. Pay your invoices as quick as possible. James McComb is number eight. James Thanks. McComb, That's you're a hard eight. okay. James McComb, you're re recorded as number eight. You're usually pretty good about paying your invoices. Like I said, anytime you have a hard item and your invoice for said item, pay it immediately. Okay, because I still have so many. Kevin Owens elite figures that are just sitting back there, and I, and I would love to bring them back out and sell them again, but I need you guys to pay those invoices. So, the La Sign Lex book is off the virtual gimmick table. All right, for all our invoice people, they're all caught up right now. Everybody's good because. Could, could you put the, the Funko under the, the, the hard camera? Yeah, I'll put the Funko under because I want to make sure I give everybody more than enough time to catch up right now because then I don't. I'm going to put out is going to just blow up the virtual gimmick table right now. That this is available throughout the entire program. If you Hold want to, for a second, he's going to put up a graphic too. Okay, like as a reminder that this signed Funko, it's only signed by Lex, not signed by Singh, just signed by Lex. This all you got to do is put in the comment section at any moment in time. 
any moment in time during this program, if you want to sign Funko by Lex Luger, all you got to do is put sold Lex Funko 50. And we will make sure that it gets out to you. And if you want it personalized, that's an extra $5, okay? But if you're just interested in the signed Funko, just put sold Lex Funko $50. At any moment in time during the evening, you can sit on it, mill over it 10 minutes later, put it in the comment section. We will record it. And it'll, once you pay that invoice, we will ship it out to you immediately. So go ahead and take a look at that. I signed Funko. All right. Like I said, is everybody caught up? Everybody got their fingers ready? Everybody on invoices? Everybody on our staff? Because I've got a feeling these, this is going to come very fast. So get ready. The next item on the virtual gimmick table. It's a very limited amount. It is a Tanahashi micro brawler. And we're doing this for $15. Okay? $15. Just put sold Tanahashi micro brawler 15 Soul Tanahashi Micro Brawler 15. Okay, let's get a closer look. Just look at the incredible detail on this Micro Brawler. Just incredible. Just put Soul Tanahashi Micro 15. Okay. Good timing because I think we've peaked also as a uh, viewership. We're, we're at 275. 275 viewers. Thank you so much for each and every one of you that tuned in here today. Back, there's a the front. It's a perfect time to jump into the virtual gimmick table right now. I'm now selling Tanahashi Micro Brawlers. All you got to do is put sold Tanahashi Micro Brawler 15. Do we have any names coming in? We do. You ready? I'm ready. Give them all to right. me. Seth Webb. Seth Webb, of course. Seth is always jumping all over those Micro Brawlers. Scott Hosler. Scott Hosler. Thank you so much. You're also jumping over those Micro Brawlers. Brian Pettis. Brian Pettis. Brian Kanabrowski. Brian Kanabrowski, of course. Brian Kanabrowski. Marcus Smith. Marcus Smith. I believe he brought us at five. Craig Brattenbuecher. Craig got us to six. Char Charlie Napier. Charlie Napier. Jay Odie. Jay Odie. That is at eight. That is at eight right now. We're already over into overtime. Brian wanted two, so we'll give Brian. I'll have number nine. We will come. Which one, Pettis uh, or Kanabrowski? Kanabrowski wanted. Of two. course, Brian Kanabrowski wanted to. You better save some of the money for the auction a little later on, Brian, because we got some wonderful items coming up for that. But six remaining. Six, six remaining. Tanahashi Micro Brawlers. Just put sold Tanahashi Micro Brawler 15. But we're going to keep moving right along. I know we're going to sell that other six. But uh, all of you guys that bought, bought that Micro Brawler, um, you guys will probably be interested in this next combo set. Because this is where we get into the combo sets. And I have a doozy for you guys. I have Wrestle Kingdom 9, 10, and 11. And I have two New Japan pins. I got the IWGP belt and a New Japan uh, pin as well. And you basically get the three DVDs with the two pins for $100. So I need you to put in the comment section, New Japan DVD pins, $100. Sold New Japan DVD and pins, $100. Let's go get a closer look at that. I'm sure we got some more names coming in. So we got a sold number 10 micro brawler to Bobby Hawkins, but to go really back, you okay. can take the Bound for Glory turnbuckle pad cool. off the gimmick table. We've been cleared out on those now. Justin Shelton picked up the remaining. Okay, four. thank you, Justin Shelton, for taking off the Bound for Glory turnbuckle pads. I had no doubt that those were going to disappear off the virtual gimmick table, all right? And thank you to everybody who picked up those Tanahashi micro brawlers. But right now, I'm selling this New Japan package right here. For $100, you get Wrestle Kingdom 9, 10, and 11, and these wonderful pins. These pins alone, like, let's take a closer shot of that, that IWGP pin right there. Get this for $100, and of course, there's the New Japan pin right there. Of course, the DVDs just alone, we normally sell these for $30. So that just 90 bucks just for the DVD alone, it's basically for an extra 10 bucks, you get these two pins. And you're not going to get this pin for just $10 anywhere. This is already a deal and a half right now. Just put sold New Japan DVD pins, $100. Okay, I only have five of these that I'm going to sell. I was only allowed to sell five of these because this is such a good deal. 
You know, some of our $100 comments, combos take a little bit longer uh, for you guys to jump in on, but I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. Just let everybody know those are region-free DVDs. They're not, they're, they're not Japanese region-free. Yes, they, they, they are region-free DVDs. If you live in the States, you will be able to play those DVDs. They are special, especially made for you, the American viewers. They were distributed just for you in America you in america for you to watch these particular dvds or english, any, commentary too. english commentary as well these these are hitting the u.s market that's a specifically why these dvds exist and right now they can exist on your shelf with these pins for 100 dollars so ross torres uh is the first he bought the, the set and thank you so, so much ross the, the only one so a couple people are asking, can they just get the DVDs? I know the DVDs are thirty dollars each on High Spot. Second. Like I said, the, the DVDs are just thirty dollars a piece. Thirty dollars a piece, so they'd be ninety. But you get the pins with it for a hundred, basically. You for ten bucks, you get two two pins. You're not going to get either one of these pins for it's automatic free shipping since this is 100 and and it's, it's an automatic free shipping right away. I don't think you guys are doing the math on this one. That's why I'm sticking on this combo a lot longer. I put this together. I had to fight to get this on the virtual gimmick table. The owner didn't want to do this. You're not going to see this on the owner's kitchen table. He thinks I'm crazy for doing this. But guys, you get these for 90 bucks, and then just for an extra 10, you get these two pins and the free shipping. I've only got five of these to sell. I'm only allowed. I've only got four left, or actually three if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to hang on this a little longer. And then, you know, let's go ahead. We'll pick, pick it together. I'm going to give you guys time. I assume the, 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 the bargain hunters of the world, you'll come back to that. Your lag needs to catch up a little bit. But that's okay. I'll give you time to catch up on that. Um, I'll still, you know, let's take another second to kind of catch up with kind of the world events that are happening right now. It's kind of a bummer of a week. We actually lost uh, Mr. Wrestling 2 this week. And kind of to honor his memory and to kind of, you know, share the love that he's you know expressed throughout his entire career we actually have a mr wrestling 2 combo we have a signed picture and we actually have a dvd uh set uh, just the dvd right here where is an interview old school interview with steve carino uh who actually is mr wrestling 3 spoiler alert or breaking kayfabe i guess and you get these two items together you have the, the mr wrestling 2 combo for 40 dollars you get the autographed picture and you get the dvd Mr. Wrestling 2 in an interview with Steve Carino, Mr. Wrestling 3. So you get this for $40. Just put sold Mr. Wrestling 2 combo $40. Okay, I only have five of these I have here to sell here tonight. So anybody's interested in jumping over this Mr. Wrestling 2 combo set right here and get a closer shot of the autograph right there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and zooming in a little bit more so you can see that autograph right there signed by Mr. Wrestling 2. And of course, right there, even a point during the interview, Steve Carino puts the Mr. Wrestling 3 hood on there as a conversation. To himself, we have five of these to sell. Let's put sold. Mr. Wrestling 2 combo. Brandon Eula is the first? Of course. Brandon, you understand the importance of Mr. Wrestling 2. You were just one of those guys that liked the Instagram post and then moved on. No, sir. You want to celebrate and honor the memory of Mr. Wrestling number two by buying this wonderful combo piece. And I have four remaining on this Mr. Wrestling two combo for forty dollars. It's an autographed picture, and you get to hear Mr. Wrestling two himself speak. Christopher Giles also picked one up. Christopher Giles, thank you so much, Christopher, for jumping in on that. I think the lag's catching up right now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna sell these last three remaining Mr. Wrestling two combos for forty. Dollars, forty dollars. Evan Abo. Evan Abo, thank you so much. Evan, I only have two remaining. Mr. Wrestling two combos. I only have two remaining for Mr. Wrestling number two. How apropos. All right, so you have two left on those. Two left on those. We'll set that off the side. Everything else has been flying off the virtual gimmick table, per, at a pretty pretty steady rate. Um, you know, like I said, I like to put together a lot of combinations, a lot of combos. Sometimes it's hit, sometimes it's miss. We'll see where we're going to go with this. I actually, you know, I've been bringing out a lot of Kevin Owens stuff. Well, I've got a Kevin Owens package for you guys. I actually have a signed picture by Kevin. This is actually one we have not put out on any of our virtual gimmick tables, not even the Saturday, not the Sunday, definitely not the Thursday. This is a new Kevin Owens 
8x10 making its debut here on the Thursday Virtual Gimmick Table. Also, too, I have a Kevin Owens uh, Ring of Honor figure from Figures Inc. right here. Uh, you get that figure as well. And also, too, the DVD set, three disc set that I actually put together. And actually, there's a match where I get to wrestle Kevin Owens. So if you ever wondered, like, hey, this guy who I see every Thursday night on the Virtual Gimmick Table, I kind of like to see how he would fare against Kevin Owens. Well, here's your chance, and you get all, all of these items in particular. You get this Kevin Owens package for fifty dollars. Well, okay. We let the lag catch up. Rick Del Santo also picked up a Mr. Wrestling two, so we're down to one. Left. Okay, we got. Thank you so much, for Rick, for rounding and respecting the memory of Mr. Wrestling two. We only have one remaining on Wrestling two, but right now I have five Kevin Owens packages available. Just put sold Kevin Owens package. $50. Okay, and let's go get a closer look, especially with the autograph right here. Get the autograph. Of course, Kevin got signed it right there. Kevin Owens. Of course, the DVD set. And of course, the high detail figure as well. So, and let's go ahead and list off some of the names that are actually on this DVD. You see Kevin take on El Generico, Matt Seidel, Mike Quackenbush, um, Chris Hero. Of course, the debut match from in CZW with Kevin Steen, Sexy Eddie, El Generico, and SX69. Also, too, you'll see Kevin Steen take on Chris Sabian, Tyler Black, who is now Seth Rollins. You get a WrestleMania main event match here, just on disc two. You can see Kevin Steen take on Colt Cabano, Claudio Castagnoli, and Antonio Cesaro, basically. So we, uh, we've already gone over the five. So we've already gone over the five. I knew this would be a popular item. Yeah. You want to just give a credit to oh i will give a credit to you sarah phillips thank you so much sarah thank you for recognizing and wanting to see me versus kevin steen and your favorite david cox david cox i'm gonna put this in your box seth webb seth webb seth you saw some of those matches but some of those matches are a little bit before your time seth so enjoy that kevin owens package brandon mula Brandon Mueller, I always appreciate that. Brandon, you get to see me wrestle on that particular DVD set. Stephen Fry. And Stephen Fry. Thank you so much. Stephen, I don't, I don't think you've been mentioned here on the Virtual Gaming Table. I know you're a watcher. I'm glad that you're a participant now. And just let Brandon Bates and Ross Torres know we can accommodate those. Brandon Bates, Ross Torres, we can't accommodate for that particular package. It's not as hard as some of the other items that we've seen. It's been tough, but we can make that happen. Anybody else that comes in for that Kevin Owens package for $50. Now, um, last week, I wore a particular shirt, and some people uh, made comments about it, and I was like, well, you know, that shirt can be available here on the virtual gimmick table, but I didn't just want to sell the t-shirt that I wore last week. I was like, you know what? I think the reason why the people want that t-shirt is because they're a fan of his wrestling. Maybe they like to see more of his wrestling. So I was like, let's make a package because I love making packages here on the virtual gimmick table. So I have a Kenta Kobashi package, which consists of a t-shirt and a five disc DVD set. And I'm selling it for $40, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I have a Kenta Kobashi DVD set thrown in t-shirt as well. Kenta Kobashi package. $40. Just put sold Kenta Kobashi package $40. Okay, and make sure you put your shirt size. Please, please, please put your shirt size. We go all the way to 5X on this as well. So we go all the way from small to 5X. Just when you put in sold Kenta Kobashi package, make sure you put your shirt size as well as the dollar amount, which is $40. Let's go get a closer shot of the shirt. I have five of them I'm selling here tonight. Zoom right out here. Another shot of the shirt. Like I said, you saw it last week when I wore it here on the virtual gimmick table. Now it can be on your chest. You could be wearing it along, and you could be wearing that shirt while the DVD is playing. All right. Let's see who's got the quickest internet here. Steve Mesa, first again. Of course, Mesa jumps over some Japanese wrestling. He's been waiting for this item to come out. John Pena. John Pena, thank you so much. Kevin Skiffington. Kevin Skiffington. Skiffington never skips on an opportunity to buy some Japanese wrestling. Brian Pettis. Brian Pettis. You know you know some good wrestling when you see it, that's for sure. Richard Liptak. Richard Liptak, thank you so much, Richard. First time I called your name here tonight. Brandon Mueller. And Brandon Mueller. Brand, Brandon, you're all over the board, but I love it. I love it every time you buy something. You're all over the board. You're just a wonderful lover of professional wrestling. David Cox. David Cox. I'm putting more stuff in your box. 
And that's where we sit right now on that. I think we can accommodate more people as they come in. We will most certainly. Okay, there are a couple extras we can accommodate on this Kensuke Kobashi package for sure. But we'll let everybody catch up right now as we do that. But of course, guys, another thing that I do on top of all of the packages that, that I put together, and also, too, I still have one remaining Mr. Wrestling 2 combo for $40 as well. Just one remaining Wrestling 2 signed picture and DVD, $40. Wrestling 2 combo. I want to plug your stuff, Jim. We're going to catch up on this one. Oh, the Kenzie Kabashi. It's time for me to plug my stuff. So my evil plan worked, guys. You guys had all the demand to buy the shirt, and I threw in a DVD to give me an opportunity to plug my shirts. And, guys, I, I you have been such wonderful supporter, supporters here at the Virtual Gaming Table and buying my merch that I've actually, in a pandemic, in an era where I can't make it out to the wrestling shows, I've had to order more shirts. I've had to order more shirts so I got more shirts coming in. So you know what that means? I got to get rid of all these other shirts that I have. So I'm doing a Man Scout shirt grab bag for $40, okay? At any moment in time during the program. And I know I just made Elizabeth mad. She's like, you did not tell me about the, the shirt grab, the Man Scout shirt grab bag. She's frowning at me right now, but I don't care because I'm trying to make you, the viewers of the virtual gaming table, smile by putting in the comment section, Man Scout shirt grab bag, $40. I have seven different shirts that could possibly end up being in this grab bag, but you will get three. You're getting three shirts for $40, guys. So basically, if you just are interested in getting three Man Scout shirts, and they could be any type, they could be the regular, regular Man Scout one, okay? I also have a hardcore camping shirt I gotta get rid of. I got an Under for Life shirt I gotta get rid of. It could be one of these three. I also have a podcast called How Did This Get Booked? You might get that shirt. Of course, make sure you put your shirt size in. That's very important. Also depends on what type of shirt you got and what I have available. I have the Great Outdoors shirt. I also have the Under Undertaker shirt. Limited sizes on that one, so it's very important you put your shirt size in. And I got 10 Bell Pod shirt as well. So just put Man Scout shirt grab bag and your shirt size, $40. Sold Man Scout shirt grab bag, shirt size, Forty dollars. You will get three Man Scout shirts over to you, and a lot of these have not been on the virtual gimmick table. Actually, I don't think any of these have been on the virtual gimmick table. So you will get an opportunity to get a shirt that you haven't already got. So everybody that's got one already, here is an opportunity for you to get three new Man Scout shirts for you guys for forty dollars. John McCauley and David Cox. John McCauley, David Cox. Now you're getting some Man Scout in your box, David Cox. So I appreciate everybody, and that'll be available throughout the program. I'll probably plug that a few more times because I've got some evil plans going as well. But uh, as always, my evil plan is always to get rid of some DVDs. Give them, give them to people that, that want them. And not just get rid of them as if they're bad DVDs. No, I've actually got a whole bunch of good DVDs that I'm going to put together for you guys. i got 10 DVDs I'm going to give to you guys for $50. And the DVD grab bag for this week is... A shoot DVD grab bag and each one of those grab bags will include the Lex Luger shoot interview that Lex did with us here at highspots.com uh, several years actually about a year or so before I actually came into the company so it's about a 15 year old shoot interview as well but it's done by highspots.com It's actually a very good professional interview uh, available on highspots.com for quite some time but that will be in every one of these grab bags you will get 10 shoot interviews and that can include a multitude of different things and you're getting this for 50 bucks keep in mind what i'm going to show you is just a sample of what you're going to get for 50 bucks so just put sold shoot dvd grab bag 50 dollars and just some of the things you're going to get you're definitely going to get the luke lex luger shoot interview you might get a honky tonk man one you might get a jamie dundee or a brickhouse brown you definitely probably get an old school of somebody in there you get a steen show hitting the high spots an even crazier one billy jack haynes uh, maybe Wendy Richter, some of the legends. You might even get a Jim Cornette one. I don't know. Maybe I'll feel uh, like Jim Cornette, uh, Jim Cornette mood. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'll work at HighSpots.com. It wanes every day. And of course, you might get a best friends in there as well. So you get a best friends. May or may not get Jim Cornette. Depends on how the wind's blowing that day. And then of course, some of the crazier ones hitting the high spots. All the different shows. Some of the regular shoot interviews. Some of them from RF. Some from different companies. But you will for sure get the Lex Luger one, and you'll get ten of them for sure. That's all I can guarantee you is ten of them, and for sure the Lex Luger. So. Anybody to shout out for the shoot DVD grab bag at all? That lag is catching up. Eli Eifert has also got your grab bag. Oh, thank you so much, Eli, for jumping all over the Man Scout t-shirt grab bag. 
So, but I still have this shoot DVD grab bag. I'm selling 10 shoot interviews, including the Lex Luger shoot interview that we have available. And of course, a lot of our newer shoots as well incorporated in that. 50 bucks. You get 10 of them for $50, guys, for shoot interviews. So, first DVD grab bag is Nate Lawson. Nate Lawson. Nate. I, I, I'm not I think this is the same Nate Lawson. If this is the same Nate Lawson I met years ago, it's good to hear from you, buddy. May not be a good day for DVDs. May not. We're striking out on DVDs. We are striking out on DVDs. I gave you this great New Japan package for $100, which normally just the DVDs are $90 alone, but I'm throwing in the pins for just an extra 10 bucks. Pins you're not going to get for 10 bucks. A New Japan package for $100. Still waiting on finishing those off the gimmick table. Not a good day for DVDs, or especially shoot ones. Now well, maybe we have to re revisit these grab bags or let them go away for a little while. Nicholas De Silva has taken the Mr. Wrestling 2 off the kid. All right, Nicholas De Silva, you definitely are a fan of DVDs because you just took off this Mr. Wrestling 2 DVD and autograph picture off the virtual gimmick table. That is off. A lot of these hot starts, we've cleared them off. We're done. We're, we're, almost, we're almost done. We're almost through all the hot starts. We do still, I believe, have a few available of some of these Tanahashi micro brawlers. Just put sold Tanahashi micro brawler fifteen dollars very 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 limited amount on these as well so richard liptak has also bought a shoot grab bag oh richard liptak thank you so much for recognizing i i won't do you wrong when i pull these grab bags and i'm the guy that's pulling all these so i'm not gonna pull crap because i gotta hear it from you guys and i want you guys to come back every thursday what am i gonna do give you the worst shoot reviews possible no i'm gonna put some of the best ones in here possible for you guys I promise you that scouts on now, Scouts Honor, we only got one more uh, hot start item, and it's actually a returning hot start item. And it's really the perfect item for the virtual gimmick table. We've taken it to live shows, and we might sell a couple, and people think they're cool. And they get buried on our website. But when you put a shine a bright light on this particular item and present it to you guys, you, the fans of the virtual gimmick table, you go crazy for it. We sold it on the Memorial Day of Sale. We brought it on a Thursday. I'm bringing it back again for you guys. WrestleMania pin set, $40. Of course, it is WrestleMania 1 through 20. All of them each have a pin for each coordinating WrestleMania. You got WrestleMania 10 right here, which Lex wrestled Yokozuna on. Also, too, WrestleMania 9, where Lex wrestled, I believe, Mr. Perfect on that one, if I'm not mistaken. So right there, we got all the other WrestleManias all the way up to WrestleMania 20, WrestleMania 2000. Let's get a closer shot of this WrestleMania pin set for $40. Just put sold WrestleMania pin set $40. Each one of the WrestleManias, 1 through 20, have their own particular pin. We've already sold our five. We've already sold our five. Yeah. We're done. Drew it's our, Smith. Drew Smith, thank you so much for picking up. Richard Liptak. Richard Liptak, thank you for picking up this WrestleMania pin set. Daniel Bessels. Daniel Bessel, thank you so much. Eli McCoslin. Eli McCoslin. I spent a lot of time and a lot of care package up in your, your last order, Eli, so I will do the same when it comes to the WrestleMania pin set. Nicholas Michael. Nicholas Michael, you are also getting a WrestleMania pin set. And how many can we accommodate? Can we accommodate three extra? I will accommodate three extra, yes. We can, we right. can do that, but it's off the of virtual. I'm not even going to show it anymore. So who are the other three lucky people? Mike. Kovacs. Mike Kovacs. We're going to ship that to Canada for you, buddy. We're going to Arthur consolidate Ellis. it. Arthur Ellis. Arthur Ellis. Lucy Hayes. Lucy Hayes. Boom. Off the virtual gimmick table. We still have this New Japan package for $100. The three DVDs that are normally $30 a piece. So just the DVDs alone are $30 plus tax plus shipping. But if you pick up the New Japan DVD pin combo for $100, you get two more pins and you get free shipping. Just put sold new japan package 100 dollars. all i need to do is the steal of the show but uh spe speaking of steals of the show and, and kind of like show only things we actually have a lot of lexes in the background furiously signing stuff let's go ahead and put those promo codes up right there uh, right now we have the four different promo shots we have the lex collage if you're interested in that one just put lex collage 15. we also have a picture with lex with the four horsemen if you're interested in that one just put lex Horseman 15. And now, if you're interested in kind of the more NWA Crockett era, Lex, just put Lex NWA 15. Now, if you're interested in the narcissist gimmick, just put Lex WWF 15. And of course, if you want any one of these promos themselves personalized, that's an extra 
five dollars and make sure that you get that in now because once the auction start we're done with personalizations no more personalizations once we get to the actual particular auction items later on and of course as a reminder guys we do have the sign lex art piece for thirty dollars is eleven by seventeen it will come with a top loader it will be signed by the Total Package himself, Lex Luger. Didn't know if I want to call him Total Package. There's Lex Express, Lex Luger. Let's get a closer shot of the autograph. Well, he, he will be signing it right there. You can get this for $30. Wonderful piece right here. By the way, everybody in the office will be like, who is the black guy with the cowboy hat? That's Aaron Neville. Aaron Neville's on this art piece. If anything, that's worth $30. Okay. Another crusty gentleman down there in the lower corner as well. And, of course, Lex giving a nice forearm to Yokozuna right there. Still haven't figured out who this guy is, but I know for sure that's Aaron Neville, and that's for sure the Macho Man. The Macho Man and Aaron Neville together on this pro poster and the Lex Express, and Lex is going to sign it, $30? This is a steal. You can get this right now. Just put Lex Art Piece 30 in the comment section. It's yours. Also, too, we're selling the Funkos, Lex Funko, $50. Just signed by Lex, but, of course, Sting is in there as well. So... Those things are available. Now let's get to promo time. This is the time where everybody's interested. They're always wondering what's going to be the first promo out the gate. Because I always give you a weird one. Well, I, I heated the call. Somebody put a recommendation in. And we're going to lead with a recommendation of one of the viewers of the virtual gimmick table. And they're going to know who it is. And hopefully you know who it is when I put this particular 8x10 out. It is... WCW Nitro Girl Spice uh, promo, and we're selling this one for $10, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Spice, of course, signed it right there in the upper corner in blue. If you're interested in the Spice promo, just put sold. WCW Nitro promo Spice 10. Nice picture right there, $10. We're selling only have five of these available here tonight for $10. All right, give them to me. Well, before we go in that, uh, I think Tanahashi is off the gimmick table. We had a few coming in that I didn't mention. He's off. Okay, Tanahashi is definitely off the virtual gimmick table, as expected. And uh, for the spice, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Bob Satnon. Oh, Big Bob. Big, I think Big Bob was the guy. Yeah, Bob was the one who recommended spice. He was ready to buy a spice, 8 by 10 Stephen Matthew. Stephen Matthew. Thank you so much, Stephen, for picking up this WCW Nitro Girl Spice signed picture for $10. Dustin Robbins. Thank you so much, Dustin. Two remaining. Spice autograph, 8 by 10 Of course, the one that is not married to Shawn Michaels. Also, the Nitro Girl not married to Booker T. Also, the Nitro Girl not formally married to Diamond Dallas Page. She's actually a, a chiropractor. I mean. She's a chiropractor. Well, maybe she could get together with Shawn Stazak and they'd be popping backs all over the place. Maybe I need to go see her. Maybe I need to go find Spice and maybe get this autograph personalized. But right now, it is Michael just... Michael May is the fourth. Michael May is the fourth. Let's get a closer shot of the autograph right there. Signed by Spice. I have one remaining. Spice, 8x10 for $10. I think it's funny that a married man just told me, like, oh, Spice is a chiropractor. A little suspect, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe tune in this Saturday to find out more at the owner's kitchen table to find out more about that particular item. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and set Spice off to the corner right now. It's still available with the lag catch up. As you guys know, I love wire references here on the virtual gimmick table. I already got one in earlier, but I got a new one because on the virtual gimmick table right now is a signed picture by Vladimir Klausloff. For $10. And yes, Kozlov was in the wire. I didn't believe it till I saw season two season finale. So if you're interested in a signed picture by Kozlov, it's $10. Just put sold Kozlov promo 10. Okay? And let's go get a closer shot of the autograph right here. Jump right here. And of course, he signed it all weird like a true Russian would. Like, wonderful autograph, silver Sharpie. I only have five available here tonight for the $10 price. Okay, Kozlov. Actually, uh, I believe this was signed the same weekend that I wrestled Kozlov, and the man gave me a headbutt as I fell off the top rope, and I think I'm still dead and my body doesn't know it yet. So who is going to be the first? So far, Josh Wolf. 
Josh Wolf, you are the first person, the one of five on the sign. Vladimir Kozlov, 8 by 10. Four remaining, sign Vladimir Kozlov, 8 by 10. Wonderful, sweet man, too. Um, he was on Instagram and very active as well, but uh, he will not mail you a signed picture if you get up with him or DM him on Instagram. I can promise you that much, but nowhere you can get a signed Vladimir Kozlov picture is here on the virtual gimmick table, right here, right now, for $10. J.O.D. is the second. J.O.D., you are the second person to jump on this sign. Vladimir Kozlov, 8 by 10 for $10. I have three remaining Vladimir Kozlov promos for $10. We're going to go ahead and set that off to the side because I have so many more promos to get to. I have so many more promos to get to, and I'm... Hopefully, all of our people are prepared because this has been lighting up the gimmick table every time we put this one out. So buckle up, inventory people. Buckle up, spreadsheet people, because the next promo in promo time is a Britt Baker in-ring promo. And we're selling this one for $15. Just put sold Britt Baker in-ring promo $15. This is different than all the other ones. This has not made its way to any other of the virtual gimmick tables. Here's an opportunity to get one of Britt Baker. I think this is one of the better ones that we have of Britt Baker, so I've been holding it back for a little while. Let's go ahead and get a closer shot of the autograph right here. Signed in gold. Of course, you get to see more of her in her ring gear. Some of the other ones we have is her in her jacket. And of course, if you're interested in this, just put sold Britt Baker in ring promo Fifteen dollars. I only have five of them here. They're coming in, and I'll sort them. But in the meantime, just let Ray Duchek know he's good for Kozlov. Oh, Ray Duchek, you are definitely in for Kozlov. You're a big fan of the wire. I know you are, Ray. All right. So for Britt Baker, we have Cody Michaels. Cody Michaels, thank you so much, Cody. We have Dustin Robbins. Dustin Robbins, thank you so much, Dustin, for picking up this Britt Baker in-ring promo. Hector Madrillis. Hector Madrillis. Jack Marconios. Jack Marconios. Uh, Jack Mar, difficult last name. How about that one? And number five is David Roberts. David Roberts. Thank you so much for picking up. I believe that is a fifth, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go ahead and slide that the virtual gimmick table. If the lag comes in, we'll accommodate it the best we possibly can. Now, uh, best we possibly can is a light term on this one. Um, I have a very unique wrestling character. And the next person who has a promo coming up is also a unique wrestling character. But boy, did he nail it on his name. And it is IRS. I have a signed IRS promo for $15. Just put sold IRS promo $15. And why I'm making such a big deal about his character and his gimmick. It is, I got to get a close-up shot of this. He just puts IRS right there on the shot. That is the sign promo by IRS. <laughs> Wonderful picture though. Very weird picture too. It's almost like a, a sketch, like a like a test pattern or a, a test shot or screen test. That's the word I'm looking for for IRS. Of course, it's the IRS right there. We're selling this one for $15. Just put sold IRS promo $15. The man just put IRS on there. God bless Mike Rotundo. Like... <laughs> Who's going to be the first? Okay. First one is Joseph Ladau. Joseph Ladau, thank you so much for being the first on this IRS promo. Eric Lester. Eric Lester, you get recognized this. Thank you so much, Eric. It's the first time I've called your name here tonight, and I appreciate all your previous orders before. And we're sitting at two. We're sitting at two, and I, and I respect that and I understand that, but we haven't had any other IRS stuff on here, and kind of the two-pack with Ted did very well, so I thought maybe we'll try the promo right here. You got a signed IRS promo. Very serious looking. Very serious, Rotundo. All right there, only three remaining on that. Work that in. All right, we're going give to that, give that time with the leg catch up. But uh, this next one, though, is maybe a bit more up, up your speed. Uh, this, this gentleman could have just wrote DDP, but he did not. He put, bang, Diamond Dallas Page on it. I have a Diamond Dallas Page pink promo. Let's, let's call it pink because we've sold a couple other Diamond Dallas's, but not this particular one. I think this is the best one we have, in my opinion. If you're interested in this one, just put sold DDP pink promo 15 Okay, $15. That's what I need in the comment section. Sold DDP pink promo 15 dollars and say that 
five times fast because that is a tongue twister and a half. Let's go ahead and take a sh instead of a half look at the autograph, let's see get a full shot of the autograph right there. He's got the bang right there, Diamond Dallas Page. Wonderful picture. I mean, this is the picture you want of Diamond Dallas Page. It's for $15. Five of these I'm selling here tonight. All right, we first five. You ready? Mm hmm. Got Marcus Smith. Marcus Smith. Thank you so much, Marcus. Chris McCullough. Chris McCullough. Emily Rose. Emily Rose. It's been a minute or two since I've called your name. Emily, I was wondering if you wandered off. Tony Mielo. Tony Mielo. Tony, is this the first time I've called your name tonight? Tony, you just joining us? Thanks for joining us. Chris Giles. Chris Giles. Thank you so much, That's, Chris. He's five, and Trevor Gus can be accommodated with number six. We can. We can, but we got to take it off the virtual gimmick table right now. It is. Diamond House Page is off the virtual gimmick table. Of course, we still have one remaining. WCW Spice autograph right there. She's a chiropractor. At least that's what I heard from a married man. One remaining WCW Spice chiropractor promo ten dollars so but moving right along with another one we actually have i i don't know how many of these we've had on any other show uh you know and i'm, I'm kind of surprised and this is a good time he's been getting a lot of twitter love recently so it's high time that we have him here on the virtual gimmick table i have a mark henry arms up promo for twenty dollars just put sold mark henry arms up twenty Dollars, and this is this is an actual, I believe, photo file as well. Let's go and get a quick shot. This right here, there, of course, is the autograph. Mark Henry. James McComb is taking spice off the gimmick table. James McComb, thank you very much for taking spice off the gimmick table. About ready to make a chiropractic point, appointment right there. Mark Henry is now on the virtual gimmick table right now. Like I said, pro photo file right there in the corner, as you can see, signed by Mark Henry. Certificate of authenticity. I'm selling five here tonight. There is a limited number, for sure. All right, first one is Tony Mielo. There you are, Tony. Once once we get you buying stuff, you can't stop. Thank you so much, Tony. So far, that is the only one. Tony Mielo. See, Tony's the only one that recognizes this. I know there's plenty of people. Jack Marconius. Jack Marconius. Thank you so much, Jack. Jack, you do know Jack, sir. You most certainly do. Hold on, must have had a bad lag there. We got it. They all came in. They all came in. We had a bad lag. We had a hiccup, but we're now we're hitting our stride. Caleb Carter is number three. Caleb Carter is number three. Brian Beasley is number four. Brian Beasley is number four. And Tyree Davis is number Tyree five. Davis. Let's take this off the virtual gimmick table. I know we have a limited amount for sure. We might be able to accommodate one or two more, but not much more. Not much more at all. Mark Henry, very high demand. Uh, a guy who should be in more demand. A guy who's underappreciated. A guy who's one of the best in ring forever is Jerry Lynn. And I have an autograph promo here by Jerry Lynn, and I'm selling it for $10. Dollars, ladies and gentlemen, just put sold Jerry Lynn promo ten dollars. So I need you to put for this right here, just sold Jerry Lynn promo ten dollars in the comment section. There's Jerry's autograph right there. Wonderful, serious looking Jerry right there. Classic ECW, some of the best matches with Rod Van Dam. Also, too, he had a a pretty decent uh, match or two with uh, Jake Manning on uh, HD Net taping for Ring of Honor. But you can get a signed picture by Jerry Lynn for only ten dollars. Might All be able. Right. To... We, we can take that off the gimmick table. All We've right. sold five. We've sold five at Jerry Lynn, and rightfully so. Jerry Lynn should be a Goldberg of the virtual gimmick table. You want to call out uh, Dylan Apple? Dylan Apple, thank you so much, Dylan. It's been a minute since I've called your name. Brandon Mueller. Brandon Mueller, you much respect to you, sir. Jordan. Ekman. Jordan Ekman, of course. You, you, once you found out about me, Russ and Jerry, you bought the promo as well. Richard Liptak. Richard Liptak. Thank you so much, Richard. Caleb Carter was five. Caleb Carter is five. And, uh, if we can accommodate, I don't know. Kind of yes, I, yes, we can accommodate. Uh, we have four extras. J. O. D. Okay. Brian Beasley. J. O. D. Brian Beasley. Nicholas Michael. Nicholas Michael. And Rick Del Santo. Rick Del Santo. That's not. We'll do it. 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 If we if it can't, the power of Jerry Lynn will push us through. Okay, now 
power of the sick. Now, you know, we're kind of we're kind of lagging through here. Um, and I was going to separate these two promos, but you know what? I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe these next two go better together. I was going to sell these separately for 15 a piece, but what I'm thinking is combining these two SCU pick signed pictures. One is solely signed by Christopher Daniels. The other one is solely signed by Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sai. I was going to set Sky, and they're both going to be sold 15 separately, but I'm going to put them together for $25. That's two promos, three autographs, $25. Just put sold, CD, Kaz, Sky, promos, 25 in the comment section. Two promos, $25, guys. So you're basically getting a promo that was normally $15. You're getting it for 10 bucks right here. You're getting both of them together for $25. This is a closer look. We had the ones together, but now you're getting two separate right here. This wonderful, oh, a very, very angry looking Kaz, very angry looking Sky, and super angry Christopher Daniels right here. I almost want to call this the angry SCU package, but yeah, right here, the sign, Kaz and Sky. I'm only selling five for this price, so jump all over this price right here. And of course, they are authenticated in the back. Of course, they're smiling. They're smiling, sort of, in this take of authenticity, but so mad in the promo right here. Right here. And then of course, Christopher Daniels, very angry. All serious, all business. CD's all business. And the business deal that I have for you guys is you get both of these promos, $25. Right there. David Roberts. David Roberts, thank you so much for jumping all over these SCU promos. First uh, first time we call her tonight, Cindy Wrongdice. Cindy Wrongdice. Cindy, you are, uh, uh, you are in the right place, Wrongdice. I, I made that work, don't worry. If you're questioning if I made that work, I definitely made that work. And what I want to do is I want to work and get three more of these sold, these two SCU promos. For twenty-five dollars, very angry SCU right here. But you can't get angry about three autographs, two top loaders, two promos, twenty-five dollars. You can't be angry about that. Should not, could not, can't get angry at that. Three remaining. Three remaining. But we're gonna go ahead and slide right along down here. Keep this moving. Keep it going. Cause I got a couple more in promo time. Um, and very, very auspicious ones. These are some. These are going to be some very hard to get um, signed pictures. And this one right here is George the Animal Steel, and I'm selling this one for thirty-five dollars. Just put sold George Steel, thirty-five dollars. Okay, it's a signed George Steel. So, and see, there's a shot. Sign the way that only an animal could sign a piece of picture, piece of paper with his picture on it. Green tongue right there. Wait for the lag. J O D is good for the SCU package. Oh, thank you so much, J O D, for jumping on those two SCU promos. I was normally selling for fifteen, but together I'm selling them for twenty-five. Right now, I have five available. The sign George Steele promos. Right here, only have five for thirty-five dollars. Just put sold George Steele promo thirty-five in the comment section. Let that lag catch up. I know a couple of people. I, mean, I had George Steele out for like sixty whole seconds before. We got a, another order from SCU, so I'm sure by now we're going to get those George Steele orders in any moment in time. We might be running on a little bit of a 197 second lag right now. Give everybody more than enough time on the George Steeles. Ray Ducek. Ray Ducek, thank you so much, Ray, for picking up this George Steele, being the first to pick up this signed George Steele promo. Give him more than enough time. Okay. Bill Yankowie. Bill Yankowie. There we go. Now we're catching up a little. We have three remaining. George the Animal Steals. Three remaining. George the Animal Steals. 
for thirty-five dollars. Jared Jonas. Jared Jonas. New. Knew there was a Brian matter. Brian Kanabrowski. Brian Kanabrowski. One remaining. George Animal Steel. Before I take it off the virtual gimmick table. One remaining. George Animal Steel. Well, I'm sure that with the lag, somebody's going to come in here any second right now. I'm going to say that name very soon, but I'm going to set it off to the side. And I have another individual, uh, another promo for $35. And this is actually uh, Vader. We've had a couple Vaders, but uh, this one's very specific. This is a uh, uh, Vader blue background. And what I need you to put in the comment section is sold Vader blue 35 Okay, if you're interested in this particular signed Vader picture, just put sold Vader Blue 35. And of course, he signed him Vader time because it's Vader and it's Vader time. Right there. All right, first one is John Pena. John Pena, thank you so much, John, for being the first on the signed Vader picture. Looks like we're going to. Quick five, got Jordan Ekman. Jordan Ekman, thank you so much, Jordan. Jordan, I like you. I appreciate you. Jared Jonas. Jared Jonas. Emily Not Rose. Emily Rose. And Ray Duchek. Ray Duchek. And Vader is off the virtual gimmick table. I'm sure there's a lag. And we can accommodate, there's two more behind them for Christopher Giles and Chris Ashton. Christopher Giles and Chris Ashton, we could probably make that do. All right, we're almost out of promo time. Wait a minute. I haven't done something in promo time. I forgot something. And I might do something in promo time, but I can't. I know what it is. Jushin Thunder Liger. Still, let's see if he's the Goldberg of the virtual gimmick table. Again this week, I have assigned Jushin Thunder Liger promo. This is the, to quantify it from the different Jushin Ligers we have available. I need to put sold Liger WCW 20. That's what I need you to do. As always, I always have Jushin Thunder Liger here on the virtual gimmick table, and this week is no different. But if you want this particular Jushin Thunder Liger, I need you to put Sold Liger WCW 20. Let's get a closer shot of this right here. Of course, Liger signed right there. Of course, WCW because it's WCW Pro Taping. They had Liger work at WCW Pro Taping? How disgraceful. But you guys aren't going to show Liger any disgrace. No, you're not. You're going to pick up this Juice and Thunder Liger for $20. All right. We've got all five already sold. I say I told you. Liger, still. Goldberg of the virtual gimmick table. Hector Madrillis. Hector Madrillis. Thank you so much. Caleb Carter. Caleb Carter. Jay Odie. Jay Odie. Thank you so much, Jay. Mike Smith. Makes Mike Smith. Bill Yankawi. Thank you so much, Bill. And we have four others if we could accommodate oh oh i said i told you okay we could do that we could probably do the four we could probably do the four but it's 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 off the virtual gimmick table but what is still on the virtual gimmick table is we still have the two scu promos for 25 dollars of course we have scorpio sky and kaz in one picture and then an angry daniels right there we're selling this one for 25 dollars so if you're interested in that one that's only $25. We still have two remaining on that one. That deal will go away. It'll go back to each one of those promos being $15 a piece. It's only the deal for $25 for both of these only exists on the virtual gimmick table. So jump all over this. Also, two. We, we have one George Steele left for $35. Just put sold George Steele promo $35. Cool. And we have one Vladimir Kozlov available for $10. Just put sold Kozlov promo $10. We also have IRS. Just put sold IRS. Bob Satin picked up an SCU, leaving one. Okay, we only have one remaining on the SCU. $25. Like I said, once this deal goes away, it's gone. It's done. It's over with. You're, you're going to have to pay $15 a piece for each one of those. We still have IRS also for $15. Kozlov for $10. Georgie Animal Steel, $35. Okay. Give you guys more than enough time for that. But in the meantime, let's transition on into promo time. But before we do, uh, just, I mean, poster time, just as a reminder, we are selling this Lex Luger 
Signed poster by Lex about the Lex Express 11 by 17 art piece. We're selling it for $30. Also, too, well, let's get a closer shot. We just did promo time. Let's get a closer shot of the promos. I know we were flashing up the codes, but let's get a closer shot of the Lex right here. Of course, Lex Luger signing. He's signing right now as we speak this Four Horsemen picture. Just put Lex Horseman 15 if you're interested in this one. If you're a big fan of NWA and you just want a picture of Lex, well, you get this picture of Lex right here. Just put Lex NWA 15. If you're a big fan of the Narcissist, just put Lex WWF 15. But if you can't decide, just go ahead and get Lex Collage 15. Let's go ahead and put those codes up right now on the screen. All those codes, you got a closer look of all those 8x10s. Let's take a look at all of them right now. They're available at any moment in time. And of course, if you want to personalize, that's an extra $5. But you got to get those personalizations in right now. Because once the auction starts, no more personalizations. It's done. So get those personalizations in right now. And personalizations are an extra $5 on top of the shown prices. Okay? Okay. Great. Understood. Great, grand, let's get into poster time. Posters, as always, guys, I like to incorporate, um, you know, some full sets. And we've been slowly working our way through as many of these as possible. And this week's going to be no different, but you're not going to see as many autographs on this particular poster. What I have for you guys, I have, I have a Shine 47 poster. I'm selling it for $50. Okay, so if you want this one, just put sold Shine 47 50 now, this doesn't have as many autographs as we normally do, but the autographs on it are, I believe, the ones that you're most interested in. Let's go to get a closer look of said autographs right here. We actually have Priscilla Kelly right here. We have Mercedes Martinez. Right here, Kira Hogan. Also, Ariel Monroe signed this. Just to name a few. Once again, this is always tough to read upside down. Always the tough one for me. Like I said, you got Errol Monroe, Mercedes Martinez, Priscilla Kelly, Aria Blake. And of course, this is Shine 47 poster, $50. Arthur Ellis. Arthur Ellis. Arthur, thank you so much for being the first one on this Shine 47 poster. Just put sold. Shine 47, 50. Okay, even more, I got four remaining on this right here. Of course, if you are a fan of female professional wrestling as well, let's go ahead and get to our next poster, which is a signed Four Horsewomen poster, and then it's signed by Charlotte Flair, just Charlotte Flair, but it's got the Four Horsewomen women all over it. But if you just want this, you're just getting Charlotte Flair's autograph on here, and you get this for $30. Just put sold. Four Horsewomen, Charlotte, $30. Let's get a closer look of the autograph right here. Of course, Charlotte signed it right here. Zoom in right there. Charlotte signed it right there in gold. Certificate of Authenticity. She actually, the spot that I'm standing in is exactly where Charlotte signed it. So if you're interested in this, I have five of these available here tonight. Just put sold for Horsewomen Charlotte, $30. And of course, I still have the Shine 47 poster for $50. I have four of them remaining. And I still have five remaining on the Charlotte for Horsewomen poster for $30. Okay. Give that more shot. Well, maybe, maybe you've seen the, sh the, the Charlotte poster on, on a lot of sales right now, but you haven't seen this on a lot of sales because we don't have a whole lot of a lot of them. Um, I've got a very limited amount that I have here to sell, and we're going to see if we can get through them. And it is a elite signed poster. It is signed by Kenny Omega, Marty Scroll, the Young Bucks, Cody, and Hangman Adam Page, signed by all of them. And I'm selling this one for $75. Dollars, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Elite red background poster, seventy-five dollars. Just put sold. Elite red background poster, seventy-five 
dollars. I want to make sure that you get a very good look at this poster right here. Of course, they all have their championships, and Kenny was the IWGP champion at the time, but New Japan does not let their champions travel with the title, especially in America. So just to go back for the people to know that they've got it, we have sold three of the Horsewomen DVD, uh, posters. Okay, we've sold the three for J Charlotte. Jay Odie. Thank you so much, Jay. William Hudson. Thank you, William. Aubrey Wright. Aubrey Wright, like I said. And we can accommodate the extras. And we can accommodate the extras. But right now, I have three that I'm selling right now. The signed yeah. Elite, 75. Jay Odie also picking up uh, Elite. Thank you so much, Jay. Richard Liptak Thank you. Elite. Thank you, Richard. He's got one left. One left. Of course, Marty Scrawl, get a closer look. Cody's autograph right there. Hangman Page. Kenny's, Nick's, Matt, one remaining elite red background poster, $75. One remaining. One remaining here, and okay. We're going to let that stay there. We also, too, at the Shine 47, we still have two Shine 47s. Aubrey Wright, both the left. Huh? Henry? Aubrey Wright. Aubrey Wright got the last red elite. We still have this. Also, too, I just noticed Shotzi Blackheart signed this Shine 47 poster. I have two remaining signed by Shotzi. Of course, Ari, Kira Hogan, uh, Aria Blake, Priscilla Kelly, Mercedes Martinez, Ariel Monroe. So you have NXT, AEW, Impact performers all signed here for $50. I only have two remaining Shine 47 poster. Okay? And because of our our special guest here tonight who's going to be coming back out for the auctions here very shortly um, in honor of him and his friendship with Sting. Ladies and gentlemen, I have Sting. Of course, he's uh, integral with Lex in his career, but I'm selling a Surfer Sting poster. I have three of them I'm selling here tonight for $50. Ladies and gentlemen, all you got to do is just put sold Surfer Sting 50 in the comment section. I have three of them that I'm selling here tonight. Okay, let's get a closer shot of the autograph right there, signed by Singh. And make sure you put sold Surfer Sting poster, Surfer Sting poster, $50. So Ryan Adams okay. just bought a Sting. He didn't put Surfer Sting, but it's the first one, so we know which one it is. Okay, we know which one it is. So Lane sure. Thompson. Lane Thompson. One remaining Surfer Sting. Rick Mead. Rick Mead, and we will take this now off of the virtual gimmick table. And here, let me show you exactly why we were very specific on the description of that poster because we have Crow's Sting on the virtual gimmick here tonight. So, if you're interested in this one, if you're interested in the Crow's Sting, just put sold Crow's Sting poster $50. Okay, and I have three of them I'm selling here tonight. Let's get a closer look of the autograph. Of course, signed nice and silver right here. The great. Crow artwork by Rob Schamberger. You just let the three people that added the surfer sting later, we can accommodate four, okay. five, and six. We, we will accommodate three, four, five, and six on the surfer sting. But if you're interested in the crow sting, here's your opportunity for that for $50. All right. Chris McCullough. Chris McCullough. Jay Odie. Jay Odie. Jonathan Amaro. Jonathan Amaro. And Crow Sting is off the virtual gimmick table. I'm sure the lag is more people will come in, which gives me more than enough time to walk over to you guys and bring over an item that just crushed it on Memorial Day. So I'm going to see if, if you guys here tonight haven't already picked up on this deal. And a lot of people did on Memorial Day, but let's see if you, the watchers of the Thursday night virtual gimmick table, I want to jump in like everybody else did on Memorial Day. I have a Young Bucks Schamburger poster, $50. Just put sold Young Bucks Schamburger, $50. I'm selling three of these here tonight, and of course they are both signed by Nick and Matt Jackson. Let's get a closer look of the autograph right here. We have, of course, Matt right here, Nick right here. Just put sold Young Bucks Schamburger, $50. Of course, let's take a look at the certificate of authenticity. Right there on the back. 
signed at the all-in event. Three, the Young Bucks signed Schamberger poster. Give that lag more than enough time on that. Slow. For whatever reason, the Thursday night is on night for Young Bucks. Maybe everybody's all Young Bucked out by Wednesday night. We got a lot of people that I guess come in late and they're asking about the Lex Luger figures because they didn't see them in the beginning. So we're, 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 back we're, we're, as soon as we finish pro promo time, we'll come back and we'll plug all the Lex items as well. As we'll plug my merch as well. We'll get to the auction items, but uh, right now let's get to let's move on a little bit. We'll leave the Young Bucks over there. We still got three more of those, three more of those to sell. But for right now, I also have three. Pro Photo File Poster, Steamboat Red Gi for $50. Just put sold, Steamboat Red Gi, $50. I only have three of these. I have to sell this wonderful Red Gi photo, of course, with him with the, the IC belt with the red WWF logo at the top. Let's get a closer look and show you what I mean. So you got that red WWF logo at the top. So it's that old school intercontinental belt course signed by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat there are three of these I have to sell uh, while we're waiting on that Jay Odie just picked up a Young Bucks Schamberger okay thank you so much Jay Odie for not leaving me hanging on this Young Bucks Ray Ducek has picked up a Steamboat thank you so much Ray two remaining Sign Steamboat, of course, Steamboat, Red Gi right there. Looking intense the way that only Steamboat can. Wonderful pro, fo pro photo file right there. I said pro photo. It's not a reprint. It's a pro photo signed by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I have two remaining of those. I also have two remaining signed Young Bucks, Rob Schamberger. I also have two remaining Shine 47 posters. Okay, final pro photo file poster. So I have Jerry the King Lawler. Okay, wonderful like 90s Jerry the King Lawler WWF. I'm selling this one for $50. Just put sold Lawler Pro Photo $50. Okay, right here. I have three of these I have to sell here tonight. Of course, you get Jerry the King Lawler. Of course, Lawler's autograph with the, the quotation marks around the king right here. True signature of King and all his autographs. So always puts the king. I always appreciate that. It's just the little touches, like a moniker. The quotation marks around there with the Jerry the King all right here. That smug little look that he'd have right before he'd insult Martha Hart. Jerry the King Lawler Pro Photo, fifty dollars. Just put sold. Jerry Lawler Pro Photo, fifty dollars. Three of them are selling here tonight. More than a William time. William Hudson's the first. William Hudson, you are the first for the Jerry Lawler. Two remaining Jerry Lawlers here tonight. Pro photo file. Just put sold. Jerry Lawler pro photo, fifty dollars. Daniel Bessels. Thank you so much, Daniel. One remaining pro photo Jerry Lawler. Also two. Got those nice leggings right there. Believe it or not, Jerry Lawler. He goes and buys female leggings and wrestles in them. Fun fact. Don't know if the king likes me sharing that, but that's a fun fact. Right there, one remaining signed pro photo file, Jerry the King Lawler for $50. Okay. Even more of the time, of course, we still have remaining Steamboat Red Ghee for $50. Also two. Young Bucks, Rob Schamberger, $50 as well. Also can't forget, Shine 47, event poster for $50, signed by Kira Hogan, Shotzi Blackheart, Ariel Monroe, Mercedes Martinez, Priscilla Kelly, just to name a few. Shine 47, $50. Okay. And once again, before we get into the auctions, I need to plug Lex Luger's uh, items and of course just a reminder guys we do have the Funko Pops that he is signing right now is actually Lex Funko $50 if you're interested in the signed Funko it has Sting but it's only signed by Lex so just put sold Lex Funko 
fifty dollars. You guys want a closer shot of it? I'll give you a closer look of it. Right there, that is Lex Luger's autograph right there on the Funko. You get this for fifty dollars. Okay. Just put sold Lex Funko fifty dollars. Anytime you want, any moment in time, we're selling this throughout the show. So I know the lag's a little bit of an issue, so if you see this, if you're interested in the sign Funko by Lex Luger, just put sold Lex Funko $50. And of course, guys, we are still selling this 11 by 17 art piece Lex Express by Lex Luger, signed by Lex Luger. It can be personalized for an extra $5, but we're selling this art piece for $30. Dollars give a closer look of where the autograph is going to happen right there right there on the chest wonderful art piece Let's zoom out a little bit more so you get a better shot of it right there Of course, it's you got macho man Aaron Neville together that, that might as well be our Mount Rushmore that might as well be our Mount Rushmore I'll accept it. Will you sure you will wonderful art piece for $30 and of course, we've got those wonderful 8x10s that Lex's been signing, and you get personalized to you. And you got to do that right here, right now. If you want that personalization, it's an extra five bucks. You got, of course, Lex NWA 15, Lex Horseman 15, Lex WWF 15, or Lex Collage 15. Now, let's get to keep that graphic up for a little bit longer. I get our auction items up. Of course, the first half of the auction before we bring out Lex. Get some very unique items for you guys. All right. And we're going to start off. You get the, the turnbuckle pads were popular as always, but we put one in the auction because we only got one of. And of course, with all the auctions, guys. Just as a reminder, bids will start at five and we'll start climbing up and then we're gonna get to a point around the 250 mark that we only do $10 increments, okay? So we're gonna start the bidding right now on this ring use turnbuckle pad for the NWA pop-up event and it is signed by Cowboy James Storm. Right here, this is a one of auction item turnbuckle pad signed by the Cowboy James Storm right here let's get a closer look of the autograph right here as the uh, start coming in of course this will come with a certificate of authenticity as well this is a ring used pop-up nwa event i believe it happened in tennessee of course it happened in tennessee because the cowboy james storm was there Some back and forth. Mike Smith started us out at thirty dollars. Mike Smith got us to thirty all right off the bat. Tom Noel jumped it to fifty. Tom Noel got us to fifty dollars. John Huerta went to sixty. John Huerta got us to sixty dollars. And uh, Jason Smith went to eighty. Thank you, Jason, for getting us to eighty dollars. The first of two bids of this, David Cox, first at one hundred. David Cox, you were the first at 100. Somebody else came in at 100, but unfortunately Dave was the first one. So the person that came in at second, I'm going to need you to go a little bit higher on that one. Right now, David Cox is in the lead for $100. All right, Brian Beasley went to 105. Brian Beasley went to 105. There you go. Jason He's, Smith went to 110. Jason Smith got us to 110. And David Cox came back at 130. David Cox gives 130. So that's the high bid at this point. Okay, we're sitting at $130 on this one of Ring Use NWA pop-up event signed by Cowboy James Storm. I'm going to get a closer shot of the autograph right there, sitting at $130. Jason Smith is at $135. Jason Smith got us to $135. Thank you so much, Jason. David Cox is tapped out. Okay, David Cox, you're out. And thank you so much for David to let us know that you're in or you're out. We're sitting at 135 right now. It's one of pop of event NWA turnbuckle pad. One 
One thirty. Anybody else? We're on a sixty-second clock. We're on a sixty-second clock right now. And who's who's at the top right now? Jason Smith. Jason Smith, you're now on the sixty-second clock for this NWA pop-up event. One thirty-five. Right here, right now, on the sixty-second clock. We're getting down to the thirty-second mark, right now. Pretty soon, Jason, this will be in your box. Not David Cox's box, but in your box, Jason. Because they're about ready to win this auction in just a few short seconds. 30 you, seconds? 30 seconds is where we're at right now. An official clock right there, not just the clock in my head. George Hagelauer's got up to 150. George Hagelauer's got us to 150. So, Jason, let us know if you're in or you're out. That's kind of how the rules go. We'll honor that just to accommodate for the lag. We don't want somebody jumping into the last couple seconds. We're going to give you more than enough time, Jason, and then we're going to start that 60-second clock again for Richard Aguilar. George Aguilar. George. George Aguilar. George, George Aguilar. Pardon me. Yeah. We have a George over here. And a Richard that have a very similar sounding last name. But George, you, you sir, are the proud owner right now at 150. But Jason, let us know if you're in or are you out. Let's turn back Pat. 150 dollars. Jason, you're not on Lee. Let us know if you're out. Jason, can you do better than 150? Do better than 150. All right. Don't know where he's at, so maybe put him on a 60 second clock again. Okay, we're back on a 60 second clock, but I'm going to get a little bit closer right here. Jason, if you're just jumping back in, you are not in the lead. No, George. George is in the lead right now for 150. So, Jason, if you can hear the sound of my voice, you need to do better than 150. 150 by George is, is sitting at the top of the pole right now. We're already on that six second clock. I'm gonna get that warning sometime soon. And now George is sitting on top of this NWA pop-up event turnbuckle pad signed by Cowboy James Storm. All right, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, that means I pop it over now to the hard camera. Jason, here's your opportunity to get back in because George is at the top right now for 150. Once again, guys, as a reminder with these auctions, if it's going back and forth, let us know if you're out so we can start that 60 second clock sooner and give everybody more than enough time. That's how we accommodate for the lag, give everybody fair opportunity for all of these auctions. That's what we would want to screw anybody over. We want to make these auctions as fair as possible, accommodate for everybody, no matter what their internet is doing for them and how they're seeing this video here today. All right, so no word from Jason Smith. So if you want to give it a 10 second countdown. All right, we're going to give the basketball count for George at 150. 150 for George Aguilar. And we're going 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Congratulations, George. You are the winner of this NWA pop up event turnbuckle pad for $150. Congratulations. Just give it a few seconds, make sure there's not a late. We will. We're second. gonna give it a few seconds. And then if you know mob rules wants to take over, we'll do that as always. We got we got a contingency plan for, for everything here on the virtual gimmick table. I give it more than a second. Also, too, maybe I'll plug my merch here for a few seconds if you don't mind. I just remind I meant to do that earlier. I got a man scout t-shirt grab bag that I got that I got for you guys. I got seven different t-shirt designs. I got my podcast design. So if you're interested in a man scout grab bag of three t-shirts for forty dollars, just put man scout shirt grab bag forty dollars. You'll get one of three designs. It all depends on what shirt size you put down. And make sure you put your shirt size so I know that specifically to get that to you. Just put Man Scout t-shirt grab bag to your shirt size, $40. Seem to be cleared and move to the next one. Okay, just wanted to get that in there because I didn't plug my merch last week and I was very upset about it. So I'm gonna get, get my plugs in while I can, but we gotta keep moving on this auction. I got a few more items before we bring Lex Luger out, but the next item is also NWA related. It is an NWA power taping 
signed poster and it is signed by a lot of people um, and of course bidding will start at five dollars it's signed by a whole bunch of people i'm going to pop it over to the close-up camera and i'm going to try and read these names upside down which is always the difficult part for me all right here it's signed by so many people got tim storm over in the corner allison k i think marty bell is right here Brian Pettis started us off at 20. Brian Pettis started us off at 20. Brandon Mueller to 30. Brian Mueller. John Huerta at 40. John Morta, no, John Mueller. For, John Huerta. John Huerta, sorry. Uh, it's at that point that I probably should, I regret not take, eating that protein bar before we came on air. Trevor Gus at 50. Trevor Gus is at 50. Daniel Bessels to 60. Daniel Bessel got us to 50. Michael Blanton at 65. Michael Blanton at 65. David Cox at 75. David Cox at 75. Anthony Turbocast, first time I've heard his name, 80. Anthony Turbocast, first time I've ever said, that, said a name that cool in this program before. Also, too, I believe we have the question mark right there. That question mark. Right there, if that moves the needle. Of course, a little, little Kobe Carino up in the corner hiding out. Of course, I think Robert Gibson signed this one. Ricker, R Ricky Cody is at 90. Ricker, Ricky Cody got us at $90. And although he did follow the at least $5 increment, uh, oh no, never mind, he corrected. Richard Cody's 90. Okay, Richard Cody's at 90. Trevor Gus to a hundred. Trevor Gus got us to a hundred dollars. Plus NWA power taping sign poster. I believe Nick Aldis is right here. Richard Ricky Cody went up to one ten. Ricky Cody got us to one ten. Ricky Cody got us now to one ten. for Trevor Gus to let us know if he's going to do better than Ricky. Okay, Trevor, you got to let us know if you're in or you're out. It's one of the things with the auctions. That's the thing that moves these things a little bit longer. If these auctions lag a little bit, I cut items. And I don't want to cut items because I want to give people an opportunity to be a winner here on the virtual gimmick table live auction. So if we hang on for a long period of time and we don't know if you're in or you're out or we're not sure, we hang on these items and then we cut an item. So as soon as you know that you're out, when you're going back and forth, let us know that you're out. So that way we can move forward. Trevor Gust went to 120. Thank you so much, Trevor. See, and you don't have to say you're out. You can just put in a higher dollar amount. So thank you so much, Trevor. Ricky right back with 130. Ricky, what right back with 130. This is how it goes. Bing, 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 First back race. and forth. Rick and Ricky and Trevor. Ricky and Trevor. This is what we like. And like I said, Ricky or Trevor, at any moment in time when you're out, let us know so we can move forward. But right now, Ricky and Trevor, you're fighting over this sign, NWA Power Taping poster. And there are so many. I think I saw Ricky Starks in here. I think up uh, up in the corner too. Trevor's not messing around. He didn't go five dollars. He didn't go ten. Trevor went up to one fifty. Trevor Gust at one fifty. Trevor Gust at one fifty. Ricky is out. Ricky sixty is, seconds at one fifty. We are at sixty seconds at one fifty for Trevor. Because Ricky is out. Thank you so much, Ricky, for following protocol. I appreciate that so much, Ricky. I can't thank you enough. And I want to thank Trevor in about sixty seconds or so for getting this NWA power taping signed poster. For 150, there's so many autographs on here. We, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There's so many. I can't even, I can't even, you have, you have less seconds on the clock than there are autographs left, Trevor. 
So are we getting down to the 30 second mark? 30 seconds. Yep. 30 seconds, that means we get over to the hard camera right here and I hold up this item and give everybody a last 30 seconds, an opportunity to jump in before I give that basketball count, this wonderful NWA sign poster, power taping poster for December 15th, December 16th of 2019. It's just a few months old. And there's all these signatures right here from the recent power tapings that occurred in December. Here's the opportunity. I believe that was season two, if I'm not mistaken. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Basketball count. NWA power poster. Going to you, Trevor. 150 in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Congratulations, Trevor. It's NWA power poster is yours okay this one's a weirder item this is more for your classic old school fans i have a all-star wrestling alliance program with carlos cologne on the cover and it appears that this is carlos's signature well of course we have no authenticated thing for that but what we're going to do with this program uh, for this Georgia program that has Carlos Colon and a possible signature. We're going to include Carlos Colon promo that we know for sure Carlos signed. For sure, because we had brought him in for Wrestle Reunion. We do have this authenticated. We do have a certificate of authenticity for one of these promos, and we will include the promo with this particular program. I figured the program is cool enough. The fact that it's it's possibly signed by Carlos Colon, but you're definitely getting a Carlos Colon authenticated autograph with this particular purchase so just let you know you're for sure getting a 100 percent guarantee carlos cologne autographed even though if you compare the two they look very similar it's tough to tell because the, the promo looks like carlos was just trying to get through the stack where i feel like he put a little bit more care to this one it's a very similar the l's and the loops are very similar so it's very you know very well could be him but said, I'm not going to put an autograph that I can't back up, okay? I'm not going to put an autograph that I'm not 100% sure out here on the virtual auctions. Of course, it's a nice program. It's got a list of the upcoming matches. All right. Tyree Davis opened this up at $5. Tyree Davis got us for $5. Michael Blanton jumped us way up to 30 Michael Blanton got us all the way to 30 and Brandon Mueller is to 40 Brandon Mueller got us to 40 Tyree Davis is currently the high bid at 45. Tyree Davis, 45. Nice. NWA program. Brandon Mueller is at 50. Brandon Mueller is at 50. What's the lineup on that, Jake? Oh, I will, I will read it off. The lineup for this particular program. We have Rock Hunter versus the Assassin number one. Ray Candy versus the Missouri Mauler, Lord Jonathan Boyd and Cousin Norman Frederick, Charles III, taking on Carlos Colon and the El Mongol, Torolando Blanco taking on Ox Baker, Ted Oates taking on Leaping Laney, and great, the great Fuji taking on Angelo Poffo. So Leaping Laney is obviously Laney Poffo. So Laney Poffo versus Ted Oates. And like I said... Right, Tyree Davis is at 60. Tyree Davis got us to 60. All South Wrestling Alliance. George Brandon Wilson. Mule is out, so we are waiting on Ty, see, Tyree Davis is the high bid. Let me see who else was in here. That might be it. All right. That might be it. I think we're it. It's Tyree Davis sitting at 60 if I'm not mistaken. Yep, $60. Tyree Davis sitting at $60 for this program. Brandon is out. Like I said, it will come with a promo that we can't authenticate and then a Signed right here in the front. I'll put this up. Brian Kanabrowski in at 65. Brian Kanabrowski for 65. Of course, we couldn't have an auction come to an end without Brian Kanabrowski saying something about it. He's at the beach with his wife watching our auctions. He, Brian Kanabrowski is on vacation with his family. 
with his family, and he's still tuning into the virtual gimmick table. And how apropos if he's at the beach and he wins this Carlos Colon signed program. A lot of words in this program. Not a lot of pictures. Tyree is out. Tyree is out. Brian Kanabrowski, we got the six second clock for you, sir, at 65. Very weird piece. I didn't know what, what this was going to do or what this was going to land, but I literally, much like a lot of things in the High Spots office, just found this on the floor and just put it in front of a camera and I was like, let's, there's got to be something to this, so let's let's put it out there. This, this could have been lost in the annals of time. This could have, we could have put the heaviest particular item in the office on top of this and scuffed this and ruined this. But I was like, no, why don't I put this on the virtual giving table and give somebody an opportunity to own this piece of wrestling history. So right now, Brian Kanabrowski sitting at $65. Are we 30 seconds, let's take it. 30 down. seconds, let's take it to the hard camera right here. Like I said, this is a piece of wrestling history I found on the floor in the office. That's how, that's how much wrestling history is just seeping out of the walls of the HighSpots.com office. And I just put this on a simple auction, and I'm actually kind of happy that it got $65. I, I didn't know where this was going to land. There's, so Those Georgia programs are extremely hard to find. Yeah. So we don't have maybe one or two of those. Yeah, we, might, we may have one or two of those. And the fact that it's, it's autographed is just it, to boot right now. Getting it for $65 bucks is, is a steal. Yeah. For sure, but right now we're less than 30 seconds away. We may even be close to the 10 second count right now uh, for the basketball rules. If we're ready for it, maybe give the basketball bull rules count right now on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Congratulations, Brian Kanabrowski. You're the proud owner of this Georgia program for 65 dollars okay just two more items before we bring lex back out here and uh they are some big items um and it doesn't get much bigger than this and uh you saw this on social media we had it floating around we've been wondering when's the proper time to bring this out this is a signed smoking skull belt and it's signed by Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's the autograph right there. And the bidding starts at five bucks, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go for five bucks. And if it goes for five bucks, um, it may come out of my paycheck. So we are selling this autograph, Smoking Skull Belt. A lot of you saw this on social media. Ooh, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to even take the, the, the plastic sheet off. Um, I, I want it to be as protected as possible. It just goes to show how brand new it is. It's still got the paper right on there to protect all of this and even this wrapping it up ensure that the none of it's damaged not scratched up and the autograph right there stone cold steve austin i want to mention we sell that for eight hundred dollars online we normally sell this for eight hundred dollars and michael was crazy enough crazy enough to put this on an open auction we don't know where this is gonna land this could land for a hundred bucks, and boy, are we gonna look silly. This is this is a hard to get, even just replica belt. All right, Brian Pettis starts off at ten dollars. Brian Pettis starts off with a whopping ten dollars for a signed smoking smoking skull belt by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Drew Smith jumped us up to one fifty. Thank you, Drew, for at least getting us in the hundreds as fast as possible. Tom Noel went to 175. Tom Noel got us to 175. Gerard Butenberg, uh, 3 a.m. over there in uh, Netherlands, 200. Gerard got us to 200. Thank you all the way from the Netherlands. I appreciate you. I hope you're enjoying that Teddy Long suit, Gerard. Aaron Board jumped us a big jump all the way up to 350. Aaron Board got us to 350. Robert Duvalis went to 360. Robert Duvalis got us to 360. David Cox went to 400. David Cox, $400. Drew Smith went to 410. Drew Smith, 410. Dan Souza, 425. Dan Souza, 425. Jordan Ekman to 450. Jordan Ekman, 450. Christopher Giles at an even five. Christopher Giles at an even five, which is still a steal right now, guys. Still a steal at $500. Dan Sousa went up to 535. 
Dan Sousa, five, 35, very specific, Dan, but don't cut yourself off there. It's still a deal if you need to go any further. But, Dan, you're sitting right now at five, 35 for this Smoking Skull belt that is normally sold for $800. And, of course, it will come with a certificate of authenticity signed. Jordan Ekman up to 550 Jordan Ekman, 550 Steve Austin right there signing said Drew belt. Smith to 560. Drew Smith 560. Dan Sousa 575. Dan Sousa 575. We might as well go to six guys. It's still it's still a steal at six. Go ahead and get the 600 barrier. Right there. A few people have dropped out here. Okay, a few people dropped out, but guys, it's still, it's normally $800. We, we haven't even hit the $600 mark. You can get the Smoking Skull Belt for less, for $200 off, just by going to $600 right now. It's crazy. We've had a slowdown here. I think people are thinking about it. I mean, I, I just, there's not a whole lot to think about. Heck, I know there's a lot of people that watch this do their own live auction. You could buy this for six six fifty and then sell it for eight hundred easily. Maybe while they're thinking about it, just show those T-shirts one more time. Oh, okay. Well, get right here. Let's go ahead and pop to the the hard camera. Let you guys think about that smoke skull belt right there. Once again, I have I work on tips, guys. I'm like your server here tonight. Um, I've got seven different shirts. I've got to get rid of. I got my podcast shirts right here. I got my Under for Life shirt. Like I said, you haven't seen that one here on the live giving table. I also have my Under Undertaker shirt right here. I also have my Gritted Doors t-shirt. I have seven different t-shirt designs, but you can get three of them. You get a Man Scout t-shirt grab bag for $40. All you got to do is just put sold Man Scout t-shirt grab bag, $40, but make sure you include your shirt size. And that kind of will depend on what you get because I got the odd number of sizes of all different things. I got my my first ever t-shirt, the Man Scout Red, done by Barbershop Windows. Kind of has got a little sentimental value, and I'm not doing a reprint of this, so this is your last opportunity to get the classic Man Scout shirt because um, I got new shirts coming in. You're going to see those in the upcoming weeks, so just put, make sure you put sold Man Scout t-shirt grab bag, $40. Get three Man Scout shirts at random. Put your shirt size as well. But right now, where are we sitting with this belt right now? We're going to put Dan Susan still at 575. I just put 60 seconds. Oh, my gosh. We're going to put 60 seconds on Dan Sousa for 575. Like I said, this is the Smoking Skull belt, guys. All right, you're still a nice paper. I'm not, I'm not taking this paper off. I could show you a better shot of this belt, but I want to make sure it's well protected when it gets to you. 575 Dan Souza. We are now in the 60 second mark. Can't believe we're going to allow this to happen. A virtual gimmick table, 575. All right, 30 seconds. Bring it over to the camera. Oh, goodness. Guys, you, you're not going to see this again on the virtual gimmick table. This, this is the last time you're going to get an autograph, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Smoking Skull Belt. Full size. Replica leather strap still got the tissue paper over all the plates to protect them You're gonna and then you got a nice covering bag with, with a padding on top to make sure that it gets you unscratched un Unmessed up in pristine condition with a Stone Cold Steve Austin autograph right there on the side and a certificate of authenticity will be included. We're at 575 for Dan Souza. Are we going to do the second count? We're going to do the basketball count. Guys, this is why you tune into the virtual gimmick table. Dan Souza, you're getting a steal. You're saving $225 by just tuning in tonight here at the virtual gimmick table. Unless somebody jumps in in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Can you hear that sound? That's the sound of Michael's heartbreaking <laughs> as we give away this signed Stone Cold Steve Austin belt for $575. $225 under market value. Gosh. 
Whew, I am going to set this down carefully because this was, yeah, it's, that was, that was, whew. I, I may fall down. I may fall down after that one. We got one, one remaining auction before we get Lex out here. And as always, guys, I try and get a pro mask for you guys. And I display it throughout the show. And this week is no different. And we're going to start the bids at five bucks on this wonderful pro mask of Blue Panther. Uh, guys, like a lot of these Lucha Libre guys, like I don't know where you guys sit and how knowledgeable you are of Lucha Libre and the culture of it and the mask. Now, you guys are pretty cultured on the fact of like the pro mask. It's different than the commercial mask just because of the detail of the mask. But let me just tell you about the man who wears this mask. Blue Panther is probably one of the more respected luchadors. When you talk to guys like Rey Mysterio, they will talk so much love and respect for Blue Panther. And they'll talk about Panther as being the guy that, you know, anytime they had a crazy idea, Panther was there for. Panther was like, would see a 17-year-old Rey Mysterio and wouldn't be a jerk to him. He'd be like, what do you want to do tonight, kid? And he would do all the types of whatever craziness he wanted to do and innovative things. Blue Panther would be there. He'd be one of the best posts, the best catch, and he'd be right there and would hang, you know, hang with the young kids all he possibly could. Also, too, great feud with American Love Machine, Art Bar. So... Of all the pro masks, this is a wonderful guy to own the mask of. But let's go ahead and show the mask real fast while the bids come in. As always, guys, as I've always been taught, the pro, that sweatband just proves that it's the pro mask right there. And of course, on the inside. Just to increase the vocabulary, Jake, that is not a sweatband. That is called twill tape. Twill tape. Excuse twill me. Tape. Twill tape. I've been corrected now by the owner of High Spots. It's twill tape. Chris Chandler started us off at $10. Chris Chandler, $10. You guys are trying to you're trying to break the bank here at the virtual gimmick table. Billy and Cowie went to 30. Billy and Cowie got to 30. Junior Martin went to 40. Junior Martin, Mini Muda at 35. Augustin Alvarado. Augustin Alvarado got us to uh, $50. $50. And see Augusta, he knows. He knows the deal. That is the current high bid at $50 for Augustin Alvarado. Uh, current high bid at fifty dollars. Pro mask, fifty dollars, guys. David Roberts is up to sixty. David Roberts got us to sixty. That's a little bit more like it. That's a bit more like it. We're at sixty dollars, but we we I think we can do better, guys. We can do better for Blue Panther. So pro quality mask. Let me get, zoom in on Cindy the stitch. Cindy Wrong Dice up to seventy. Cindy Wrong Dice got us up to seventy. Cindy, you're not wrong for seeing how this is the deal. $70. Properly laced to. Wonderful fabric. Twill tape, as I was just corrected. For a month of doing this, wonderful. Jordan Ekman is 80. Jordan Ekman at 80. Note the double stitching around the eyes. Yes, double stitching around the eyes. Hey, Augustin Alvarado is tapped out, so we are between David Roberts and Jordan Ekman. Jordan Ekman, David Roberts, it's between you guys right now. Inside of the mask. David Roberts, Jordan Ekman, it's between you guys. If you get to a point where you're in or you're out, let us know. Blue Panther mask. David Roberts is out. Jordan Ekman on the clock at eighty dollars. Jordan Ekman, eighty dollars. You are on the clock for sixty seconds. Jordan, you're, this is going to be a steal if you get this for eighty dollars. Jordan Ekman, eighty dollars. You're on the clock for sixty seconds. Who's going to who's going to jump in? Asked if it's signed. Just, it is not signed. It's not ring used. It is a hundred dollar quality mask. It, I mean, it is it is of a quality of Panther would be to wrestle he would wrestle in something similar to this so this is a quality in ring pro mask not commercial not commercial this is a pro quality mask this is of the equivalent of something that panther would wear in the ring when he would wrestle 30 seconds 30 seconds that means we bring it over to the wide shot Drop cindy wrong dice we're not letting it go 90 dollars for cindy wrong dice you are not wrong by taking this to 90 dollars Jordan, let us know if you are in or are you out. The sooner you can do that, the sooner we can put Cindy on the six-second clock. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to get this head out of the way. The, the head does not come with a mask. I've said it five, six weeks in a row. You still don't believe me. I'm saying again, this does not come with a mask. Right now, Cindy, you're not getting this right now included with the $90. You're getting the mask right now for $90 until Jordan lets us know that you're right, in. Jordan is out. Okay, Jordan is out. Cindy is on the clock, 60 seconds and $90. All right, Cindy, you are on the clock for $90 for this Blue Panther Pro Mask. Wonderful high quality mask, double stitching around the eye. Let's get a closer shot of that stitching right here. The double stitching. So, I mean, it's one of the things that makes it pro. And of course, the twill tape, which is gonna be now the new thing that I say every single week. Wonderful. And there. On the eyes. Quality mask. Cindy Wrong Dice. Still a great deal for ninety dollars. Probably getting close. Right, Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. We are on the hard camera shot. Cindy Wrong Dice. Ninety dollars for this Blue Panther Pro Mask. Okay, 30 seconds. We're getting close to that basketball count, giving everybody more than enough time. Cindy came in and jumped in in that 30 seconds, so we'll see if anybody else jumps in out of nowhere. It does better than $90, but we are getting close to that basketball count. Ten seconds. Ten seconds basketball count. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Cindy Wrong Dice. You are the winner of this Blue Panther Pro Mask. Congratulations. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to get Lex out here. But before we do, let's pop up that graphic right now of all the promos that are available. We're a little bit past the time for you to get them personalized. Right now, a reminder, it is Lex NWA15, Lex Horseman, 15 Lex WWF 15 or Lex Collage 15. So those are the places you can get those 8x10s. They are available throughout the show still, but we're past the personalizations. But what we are not past is the time where the total package, Lex Luger, you come back out on set. Is your hand tired? No, not at all. Uh, <laughs> the moment is here. We're, we're back together. I was gonna say, just you just burned through all of we them. We knocked it out out of that ballpark, man. You are you are a pro. We server. had to wait on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. They said I, I'm the first guy that had to wait to come back out. Yeah, I I, I, I apologize. So we were on fire back there. I, I know. No, you you did your normal. Yeah. Yeah. Are people always. That's say, how good I was back there. They they were. You're running, running oh, around. so it's more about how good you are, not so much that I'm doing a bad job up here. No, okay. you, you're, you're your regular <laughs> self. I, yeah. You just, you're I'm just, patting myself on the back. Okay, well, yeah, you should. You're, like, I've always been a big fan of you. Yeah, total hey, package, right? Exactly. Yeah, matter of fact, a funny story. You are when it comes to like working out, seeing you, I was like, man, if I ever want to be a wrestler, I make sure I work out like that guy. See, you were inspirational. You were always an inspiration to me, and I just now, at 38 years old, I finally got abs. So it's taken that long for me to finally take after you Better and get out. Better later, Jake. I know. It, it took me long enough. And it, see, these are all things that we would uh, talk about on the phone call, which what we're going to do right now for, for the live auction, we're going to auction off an opportunity for somebody to have a phone call with you immediately so after this, this auction. This is a first time ever. Video chat. Video chat, not a I've phone call. I've never done a video chat. You've never done a video chat. Well, we've, with a fan. So this well, is we've, a, we've barely done it. This is a first. This is a first for us of the first virtual. First This is the first of the virtual gimmick table for us as well. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're selling this. It's a, it'll be a video chat. Actually, uh, uh, Chelsea Cation will be through her Facebook. She's she's going to use her phone. As soon as this is over, somebody's going to have a video chat with the total package, Lex Luger. They can talk about whatever they want. The bids are coming in right now. We started at the five and give it time. But, you know, just some of the... They can, we'll have fun with that. They'll have fun with that. And, and like, they can talk about all any types of things, anything mm -hmm. they want. And if I had an opportunity to have a video chat with the total package, Lex Luger... I would love to talk. Well, about jump it. in. You, you, I'm gonna jump in right no. now. I'm gonna jump in right now because I, Jake, you can bid on it if you want. Oh well, I'm gonna get it right what now for rules? free. I'm gonna get it right now for free okay, because no, nobody else I is gonna you. ask about this. You're right. And somebody should ask you about this. Okay. And I, growing up, I loved you and the British Bulldog as the Ally Powers. Yeah. I'm sure nobody's ever said that to you. No, a lot of people have told really, me. Really, they that. should. Yeah. It was a great tag team, it was, and it worked yeah. because. Yeah. 
you got Owen and Yoko were the champion. You had all that history with Yoko, and of course, you know, Davey had all the history with Owen and the Hart family. You guys going after those guys in WWF like '95 was just. We used to tour uh, Europe a lot there, man. When I went over there with Davey, and we wrestled over there. Man, Davey boy, he was was he over? Oh yeah. In Europe, especially the UK, we had a blast wrestling the tag team over there. The, the crowd response was unbelievable. They loved him. You, uh, I, I got to stay at his parents' house. And, oh, really? In Manchester. That's how I became a Manchester United fan. I was, yeah, I was just, just, just going to ask. Yeah. The big Manchester. I didn't understand. Uh, we call it soccer. I didn't understand it. But once I, uh, Dave Boyd taught me some of the nuances of everything. I'm, I've been a Manchester fan ever since. Everybody goes, why are you a Manchester United fan? I go, Davey Boy. Oh, okay. Have you seen a game? I, I, I want to go to the. Theater oh. of Dreams, Old Trafford. Oh, you're going to hate a, me. That's a, I've been there. Th I've actually seen a game there. Theater of Dreams, uh, Old Trafford. I have. I've seen a game there. They, they're not your team, though. I, I know. I just was in Manchester. Wow. It's, I'm it, jealous. Jealous. Too. Even had a meat pie, too, and everything. Oh, That's man. when I wasn't trying to get abs. <laughs> yeah. I'm jealous. Uh, oh, it was, it that's, was, like, I'm, I, that's on my bucket list. Oh, it's an incredible Go over there to game sometime. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, definitely. Well, I'm sure having a video chat with you would be on somebody's bucket list. Let's see where some of the bids are at right now. Well, so we don't have a lot of bids yet because I think we're still getting a bit of a lag, but I think they're coming up. But let, if you could just explain that the video chat would be direct one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, it's going to be direct one-on-one -on -one with Lex immediately after this auction is concluded. We have some other items that we're going to we're gonna pop up here that are yep, very, live. very integral yeah. part of your career, but we're getting the, getting the bids in. It's be immediate auction. gratification, right? Immediate. As, as, soon as, as soon as we're done with the auction, you'll have a, you know, just a few minute chat, video chat with the total package Lex Luger. Here's your opportunity to auction, win that in an auction right here, right now. Uh, with, with Lex, and they can talk about any mm -hmm. facet of your career. They can talk That's about right. the time you jumped from WWF to WCW, which I, I was watching that live and seeing yeah. you walk. I this is before the internet, and just seeing you come out on WCW Nitro. Yep. How was that exhilarating to you? Did you realize how yeah, big that, that was, was going to be? Yeah, that was pretty neat. I mean, I think Sting and Eric Bischoff are the only three that knew. They st they flew me in straight off the road with WWE. I was with WWF, but WWE at yeah. the time. And I when I came in there. Um, no one knew I was in town, and um, they kept me at different hotels on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. And they brought me in when the show was already in progress. They brought me in the whole other end of the mall and hid me on the other end of the mall. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had towels over my head. It was, it was, it was crazy. But they kept it a secret because right when I walked out, the fans every day. When I walked out to the position where we go out on the air. Mm -hmm. uh, we were getting ready for our segment to come up. And I walked out. And none of the none of the boys. They used to hear something. Yeah. None of them. Knew, what's what's Lex, what's Lex doing here? So it was like a total, a total shock for everybody. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. James McComb is the current high bidder. Okay. Uh, Thirty dollars for the video chat. Okay, James McComb, you're now the top bidder right now at thirty dollars. So, so we just it's it's a bit of a lag. The technology has been, That's been right. very much an issue. That's right. We give everybody more than enough time to, to jump in. So, and like I said, they get to talk about whatever you wanted. But I'm getting right. that right here now with you mm -hmm. and this is this is incredible um when obviously when you made that jump that was a big time when the monday Night wars were trying to kick you off you being a guy that wrestled in wwf and wcw and even crockett and nwa so there were different periods of wrestling that you were around even like the attitude era and everything yep. going, like yeah. you weren't in wwf but you were in the mix of what was going on in the wrestling scenes did you were you cognizant of the changes that wrestling was going through and the cognizant of the differences between the two companies at that time? Well, we were very competitive. I think that's why the ratings were high. So, yeah, we knew what they were doing. They knew what we were doing. Mm -hmm. The Monday at Wars was, was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And obviously the fan response was incredible. So that was a like the last five years of my career. That was a great way to end my career. I mean, yeah. I wrote some 86 to 01. So that, that, that Attitude Era Monday Night Wars was my final like five years of, of full-time wrestling so it was very memorable so i kind of had the four horsemen the first and that era then in wcw then i went wwe for a few years mm -hmm. and the last express i came back to the monday night war so it was like incredible like fourth of july fireworks my entire career oh, from beginning to end and coming like break in with the horsemen basically mm -hmm. I mean, and then go to go there and had that intrepid Slam her around the world, Lex Express, and then go on to the Monday Night Wars. That was 
that was it. And I'm looking back now, I'm like, wow. And just even as a performer, Pretty. like, was it was like a shift as a performer? Like, you were doing all these multi-man tags with the Four Horsemen, and then all of a sudden you are wrestling Yokozuna in the WWF. Was it like a shift as you a performer? Like, you had to cognizantly change the, some of the things that you did? Well, I know I did a lot of singles matches before I rest, left WCW the first time. I had hundreds of matches yeah. with Nate. Mm -hmm. So that was incredible. So that was going, working with the horse, and I was, a lot of times they tagged me up with, but I did quite a, a bit of stuff with the U.S. title there, too. Yeah. On some singles. So I was starting to learn how to work that way. Okay. So, but, and, and Yoko was incredible to work with. Yeah, I think he's very... We used to call him the dancing bear. <laughs> Is that what he's called? He was like 600 pounds, but he could, he had incredible agility and balance. We all, we all called, we all called him the back. We all just, we called him showstopper. Yeah. So he'd walk out, the crowd and his music, when a 600 pound athlete walks out, the, the crowd was just like we said, the show's over, he's a showstopper. Absolutely. And he was always, I have felt grossly underrated, but I feel like the time that you wrestled him was like his prime. prime he could, at 600 pounds, he could literally, when you come off a, a, a clothesline, he'd do like three, four clotheslines, and go, not, go, not go down, not go down, not go down. By the fourth one, he'd have his hair would come out, and his hair would be in the back of the mat, but he'd still be standing. At six <laughs> like, imagine the flexibility yeah. and the agility of a guy like that, uh, to be able to do that. Man, he was he was amazing, and he literally and the intrepid slammed himself because I I couldn't slam him. <laughs> so I had these these shoes on. I had no I had no traction when I got in. They wanted me to wear boots mm -hmm. in the ring that had, but I had, they were worn. So I got in the ring with Yoko and that intrepid. I had no traction. So Yoko, I told you I was scared to death. So Yoko, we can't do it. I have no I have no footing. Yoko was he, he was a cool island boy. He goes, no problem, bro. I got you. <laughs> it was just, just get a wide stance. He, so he literally almost slammed himself. Oh wow! I, I, I never knew that. So that's how that's how agile and what an athlete Yoko was. Uh, incredible. He bailed me out big time <laughs> on that. Never, never knew this story. Yeah, what a relief. Current high bid is Ryan Zudoni at forty dollars. Ryan Zudoni at forty dollars right now is the current high bid. Is where we're sitting at right now. We're going to sixty seconds for that. We're going to sixty seconds on that, and that's sixty seconds. Like that's something that a lot of people don't think about in that wrestling ring. You know, like it's hard to walk in with regular shoes. That's why wrestling boots yeah, are so it is. different. There's different, there's different surfaces you mm -hmm. can be on. Yeah. And that and that day was really hot out there, mm -hmm. and it was hot. So when I got in with those, they wanted me to wear cowboy boots with jeans and a red blue shirt. It was I was on like ice, like like rollerblades or ice skates. Mm -hmm. I so I, I was like panicking. <laughs> Thank goodness Yoko didn't. No. Oh. I mean, island boy, hot yeah, water. He's, man. You're in the water. He's Nothing. Felt un home. Unshakable. <laughs> he could not be rattled. Well, he, he started shaking. He wouldn't stop. <laughs> yeah, I go, I, I go, I got you, bro. I got this. I go, okay, go, go. Okay. Okay. All right. So, we're looking at 30 second count. 30 second count uh, right now. Who's the, the top bid right now? It is. Is it Ryan? Ryan Zadoni, you're sitting right now. You will get the video call with Lex as soon as this live auction is over. That's why we want to do it right at the top, so that way we can get up with you and contact you, Chelsea. Uh, That's cash in. It's about ten minutes. It'll be about ten minutes or so. You can ask Lex whatever you want. There you Open go. Book. Video chat, Lex Luger. We'll pull you off to a, a quiet corner here in the High Spots office. And you have a ten minute video. Is there chat. a quiet corner in here? All right, as long as I'm not in it. <laughs> if I'm there, it's going to be loud for whatever reason. But uh, are we at the 10-second basketball count right now, Michael? I think so. I think so. We're going now for Ryan Zidoni, 10 uh, seconds. No. Richard Atkins waited. Now it's $45. So. Okay, $45. Richard Atkins. We're going up. This is what happens. Like, right when we think we're done, somebody comes in. These auctions, they take a little bit longer. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so it wasn't all my fault that you were back there waiting, sir. No. I mean, you, you moving at the speed of light, signing every one of those pieces, and, and what do you think of this wonderful art piece, this Lex Express? Oh, I really, I really. Like this, this right here. Is that like an original piece? Yes, we had this. Or made. is that from back in the day? Because there was a, no, we made there this was just a for you. poster that was kind of like that, that. That I love that. Yeah. There's got there's quite a bit of detail in there. Absolutely, I mean, you got yeah. Fuji Cornet right there in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Aaron Neville. That was saying the anthem <laughs> yeah. at SummerSlam. Yeah. How'd he get in there? I know, right? I love that though. That is that is fabulous. Yeah. And what was it like riding on that bus? Who does that for you? Uh, Eric Hodson, I believe, is his name. Man, that, is, that is good, good work. He made he made a a, a really wonderful Nikita Koloff Magnum TA one. 
when they were like fighting each other. You even got me hitting him with a steel plate with mm -hmm. the I, I from love SummerSlam that. with the SummerSlam yeah. gear with the gold trim. And that is that is detailed. That is that is fabulous artwork. Abs absolutely. Yeah. So got the bus in there. He's got everything in there. Trap in the background. Mm -hmm. That right, is so beautiful. Thirty seconds. All right, we're at the thirty second mark, and we got uh, Richard Atkins. Mm -hmm. Richard Atkins, we got the thirty second count. You will be getting. 10-minute conversation with Lex as soon as we conclude the auction. We have a few inter very interesting items uh, as we pop that up. And, of course, you know, the, the Lex poster, the Lex Express poster, still available for $30. 11 by 17, just put in Lex art poster, $30. Out of all the things I signed, that's back there. The coolest? It's, that's one of my favorites. I, I, yeah. I would agree as well. That's up there. I w it's up, that's there. up there. Yeah, I like that one. Well, we're right now out of time for the 10-second basketball count. Richard Atkins, we're going to give it to you for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, oh, Rick. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting. Richard Pendred waited and he just came up to fifty dollars. Oh, Richard boy. Pendred for fifty dollars, guys. Almost. Close Almost. but no cigars. Close. Very, very close. Now Let's go back to this poster because we're we've been selling it for a little, and and I, I do want to talk about it more because there's a lot going on here. What was what was it like traveling in that bus, that Lex Express bus? Actually, it was it was pretty well done. They had they had like a bed in, bed in there if I wanted to take a nap. I'm not a napper, but they they had a kitchen there and a bedroom, and it it was it was I was I was they hooked me up pretty good with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing: you start bringing mention a kitchen. I had a driver, and yeah, it was, yeah, you just relax. Already, was, I like it. Having yeah, to drive yeah. to get you to town to town. Yeah, I was not driving, but they didn't trust me driving. So they didn't. No. <laughs> that would have been a thing of Instagram. I want you to drive this bus. Yeah. I can't afford a driver because this is 1993 WWF. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's Richard a, Atkins came back. He's at 55. Okay, Richard Atkins, you come back oh, at 55. Wow. So we're we've got a little bit of fight fight mm -hmm. going on, but. Uh, I gotta ask. You mentioned kitchen in the bus. Who's this guy here? We've been trying to figure that all day. He looks like he looks like uh, like doing uh, the Patriots head coach. <laughs> Bill Belichick. We got, he looks like Belichick. We, I mean, it, I, like who is it? Is that, <laughs> a, is that a bad bad? Is that Zabisco? I don't. I don't think this is, no I'm Zabisco wasn't in WWE. Basically, the guy he's talking about is this guy right here. We can call Does him anybody Bill out there know who he is? Anybody know? Who this guy is? The Even Eric post. Hodson, the guy who drew this piece. Did I mean, you put Bill Belichick on this poster, sir? Maybe you know, those rotten. I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. Maybe those rotten New England fans. You've snuck Belichick in there. <laughs> just, just out of spite for you. Yeah. Oh, and I, I feel bad. Buffalo Bills fan. Those four Super Bowls were those tough on you. Yeah. <laughs> Thought I was gonna get a little bit more, but the fact that I got less is even sadder. Yeah. <laughs> Still lament over that. But they're, they're, they're coming back yeah. now, though. The Buffalo Bills, they got some good, good, yeah. good teams now. I'm pretty pumped. Yeah. What do you think about the new quarterback for the Buffalo? I love him. Love him. Yeah, he's a competitor. Yeah. He's fiery. I love him. Was, the play you can tell the the players love him, the fans love him. Big rugged kid he played is. in South we Dakota. Like now he's playing in Buffalo. He's a Bill, Buffalo Bills kind of quarterback. Like Jim Kelly had that swagger kind of mm -hmm. comp competitive fire. Mm -hmm. And um, Josh is the same way. We like him. Yeah, you're a good head coach. Mm -hmm. Very, you know, really build, been building. Things are looking up. Yeah, things are looking up. And no up. more Brady. Yeah, no more Brady. The AFC is finally, yeah. They don't know who their quarterback's going to be. We don't know how Miami's going to look in that division. So who knows? Things are looking up for Buffalo Bills. They are. We're excited. Oh, okay. Awesome. Do you have any Buffalo Bills like memorabilia or anything? Like, have you met any of the Buffalo Bills players? Yes. Well, I played college with Jim Kelly. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, what's what's what was Jim like to play with? Oh, he's great. Well, he's great. He broke what a competitor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, amazing. I, 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 he I, got I, recruited as a linebacker, so he had that kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, so he was a uh, he was a great quarterback. Awesome. Yeah. Um, 30 seconds at $55 to Richard Atkins. Richard Atkins, we're going to we're going to get you at 30 seconds again at $55 for that for the 10 minute video chat with Lex as soon as the auctions are done after we auction off a few more pieces that are Lex related mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to pull out some more stories out of you. We just kind of we were talking about Buffalo Bills, we talked about Bill Belichick, we talked about Lex Express. Yeah. I got I'm going to get a couple more stories out of you before it's all said okay. and done. So 
and we're gonna we're gonna talk about some other things but we're on the 30 second clock are we about at the 10 second mark where i can start giving the count again for real this time i think so uh, okay i'm afraid this might happen again because there's a group out there that have a podcast and they want to know if they could record the video message and okay oh, oh okay well, so we'll, we can, we'll see is we'll that see. breaking the rules i don't know we didn't establish any rules and uh wow you know, that's, so uh, yeah that's, it's kind of out of the box. It's out of the box. We'll, we'll, we'll give a 10-second countdown just to see if we get a... Okay, we're going to give a 10-second countdown, and always mob rules if we get yeah, to 10 Yeah, money second. talks, right? Money talks, mob rules, all yeah. that. 10-second uh, count for Richard Atkins. We got uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Richard Atkins right now, $55.00. We're giving it a second. Let it just kind of catch up. It must have been a low-budget podcast. Must have been. They didn't have got any sponsors. <laughs> totally agree, Wax. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, I, 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 you must have won me out too bad. Uh, exactly. You're not, you're not going to go like $55. Yeah. Uh, extra five? Or, Plus, it, we've always wanted you on our podcast. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, they'll probably hit you up on Facebook or Twitter afterwards. Yeah. Like, can you do it? Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I gosh. give you the extra five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's get to our next piece. I, I switched up the next piece because I, I had a piece of like signed Ric Flair memorabilia, but then we found this earlier today. Um, this is like a signed Ric Flair poster that I believe we signed in New York. We've been trying to hunt down the actual picture where Rick signed this, but it's got you on the other part. We'll get you to sign the other part of this poster. Mm -hmm. uh, before Personalize if they want it. Personalize if they want Ooh. it. And like I said, bids are starting at five bucks Whoa. and moving five dollar increments up. This wonderful poster with you wrestling the Nature Boy Ric Flair. Wonderful uh, photo just blown up. Um, you I'm looking at it upside down. I'm going to turn it right around Let me for look you. Let me see second. where that was at. Dean White Trunks. It's like a Florida right there. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the pictures that came from Florida, so it's a Isn't lot. The photographer in the back of There's Rick with his razor blades taped to his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think on the back, too, it says classic wrestling photos, Daniel Long photography. Daniel Long is the photographer. That, that was like Rick's style right at the beginning of the match. You kind of surf around a little bit. You kind of do like this. I kind of reach out at him a little bit so yeah it's like, like a very start of a match knowing knowing i've worked with rick hundreds of times okay that's like the very beginning of a match between him and i i can't right, quite we'll make out where it was at the, bid, gonna... the bids have escalated quickly not, okay. not a slow start to this one yeah um, mm -hmm. Drew Smith started us out early for fifty dollars. I've Smith. never seen I've never seen that before. You have never seen this photo? Well, I'm I have seen, never seen this photo. Before. a little bit longer. Robert Duvalis went up to sixty. Robert Duvalis. So that, this 60. is definitely uh, kind of one of a kind because I have never. This looks like a photo taken by like a fan or something, because I have never, I have never seen this photo before. Vincent Rosa went up to one hundred five. Vincent Rosa's got a one hundred five. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. That's what we want to see out of Lex. John Huerta went up to one hundred ten. John Huerta got mm. us to one hundred ten. Thank you, John. Ryan Perry went up to one hundred twenty. Ryan Perry one hundred twenty. Thank you, Ryan. Jake Holton one hundred twenty five. These are a lot of new names. We have Jake, Jake Holton. A lot, a lot of names that are coming in for for Lex right here for this signed picture. He's even personalized to you. Yeah, Christopher a... Giles is now the high bid at one hundred fifty. Christopher Giles, a, 150. That is a cool shot, man. Absolutely. Let's go pop it yeah. up on the close-up camera so people can get a closer look. Yeah. Like I so said, there's there's his hands like like you were talking about at the beginning of the match. Right before the right before the big lockup. Yeah. And yeah. Then of course like the he's like a razor blade right in there. Yeah. Is that tape you see on his fingers? That's where Rick kept his blades. Yeah. There's a nice picture of Lex right there. Rick Flair. Mm -hmm. One of the lots that we, we had him sign. I signed a lot of stuff over and over again. I've never seen that. So that, that that has to be like a one of a kind original. Absolutely. Definitely looks like taken by like a ringside fan, not like a professional photographer. But I think that's kind of neat. What yeah. makes it neat? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. You know, it's not something that was in all the magazines. And yeah, stuff yeah. Like that. It wasn't over over circulated. Nah. You see over and right, over right. and over and over and over again. That's a good one. So, so I messed up. David Cox was the first 150 bidder. So David, you know it's the same amount. David Cox is actually the okay. David bidder. Cox, you're now sitting at, at 150 right now. I'm gonna move this so we get so people can uh, kind of take a look. People ask what size that is. That should be an 18 by 24. 
Yes, it, it's this. Yeah, it's, it's, the impre- it's a, that's part of I think the beauty of it. It's the, pre- the size of it's very impressive. It's the same size as all the sham burgers because these are the same yeah. top loaders for that. So all the sham burgers and posters you saw earlier, it is of that size. Mm-hmm. Nice, wonderful shot. Claudio there. Angel, Angioni bid one fifty five. Get a new name. Okay, Claudio, you're coming in at one fifty five right now. And Chris Giles went to one sixty. Chris Giles got mm-hmm. one sixty. Thank you so much, Chris. David mm-hmm. Cox not messing around. Went up to an even two hundred dollars. David Whoa, Cox got play. us all the way two hundred bucks. That's, David, this is, ain't, David ain't playing, Jay. They, they, we're we're going to put this David in your box, playing. David Cox. Man. So, but you know, as some of these builds are starting to come in a little bit, like you talked a little about wrestling, Rick. What 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 are some of the memories you have of? Of wrestling, Rick, like what just sticks out in your head, the things you did, what you look forward to. You know, he had such a special gift. Not only was he a one of the great, one, if not the greatest ever, but I always said, and Stinger agrees with me, he was a star maker. Mm-hmm. He could take so many fans didn't know and make you into a, a star. That's a very rare talent. To, you know, like Hogan is one of the biggest ever too, but Hogan was like I always worked with really good guys that that. Made Hogan look like Hogan, mm-hmm. but but Rick could Rick had just a special gift. Hogan was as much of a star maker. They made stars to wrestle Hogan. Just it's my personal opinion. Yeah, and they they built guys up to wrestle him, and which made Hogan obviously mean more and more. He just and it's but Rick would take somebody an unknown like Stinger or myself, a basic unknown, turn us into one of the biggest names in the business. Rick. Was a, a superstar himself, but he could like create superstars. Yeah. With with the interviews and the way he worked with the ring, he had a, Rick is a special guy. He had a very special gift that way. That's not taking anything away from like Hulk Hogan's Absolutely career, not. obviously. Mm-hmm. But unbelievable career. Mm-hmm. But Rick had a very special way that way, which I I know Sting and I both always have really appreciated. Very thankful for what Rick did in our early, early parts of our career. Yeah, and absolutely, and also too with. with I mean, Rick. he put us on the map. Yeah, and not only was he a star maker, he was a star himself, which is right. a rare thing you don't see. Yeah. You, you have those guys that can make somebody look better than what they are, but the fact that somebody being of that caliber and that level of a star at the yeah. same time too, that's a rare thing that you you never really saw. So you're quicking back to your question. That comes to mind. I'm so thankful for what Rick did for guys like Sting and myself, and I just. Uh, when I get to the building, when you know you're wrestling Ric Flair, it's like you felt like you had a night off almost. Because mm-hmm. Rick would just kind of lead you through the match, and he always knew what the crowd wanted and knew what to do when mm-hmm. in the ring. So you didn't have to think a lot about in there with Rick. He just had to react off of Rick. Mm-hmm. And uh, Rick was just incredible to work with. I wrestled Rick hundreds of times. Yeah. I tried to figure out one time how many matches I had, and I figured I'd 15 years and averaged maybe. T- uh, I used to run out of, I had a contract with WCW, I used to have 275 matches, I'd run out of matches like in November, mm-hmm. they had to try to sign me for more, so I averaged probably at least close to 300 matches, so that would be like between four and 5,000 matches I had. Mm-hmm. Then TV, sometimes you'd wrestle three, four times in one day, so I mean, I'm close to 5,000 matches, but I probably had, I always try to figure out how many matches I have with Rick. Rick might be the guy I wrestled the most times of any other guy. Mm-hmm. I got to wrestle all the top guys in my era pretty much. And uh, I, I probably had, I'd have to say, three, 400 matches with Rick. Oh, my gosh. I know. That's incredible. Yeah. So, got so we have a special relationship. Absolutely. Two guys going back and forth battling for this one. Okay. Christopher Giles went up to 210. Christopher Giles got us to 210. David Cox went up to 225. David Cox got us to 225, though. Chris came back at 250. Chris came at 250. David Cox went to 275. David Cox, 275. Christopher Giles went to 280. Chris Giles, 280. David to 300. We're at 300. This is where we're at right now. Okay, we're sitting at 300. Not surprised. That is a... That is a cool shot. I almost want to bid on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is a wonderful, yeah. wonderful piece, right there. What's the what's of those three hundred matches? Mm-hmm. What's approximately? I'm. I'm I, I, well, I, can't, I mean, a, yeah. the approximate three hundred yeah. matches. What's the one that you you feel like is was your best one? You're like when you think of like oh wrestling, Rick. Gosh. Like, oh, that's the one. If I'm gonna show people, matches. you know, wow. or just a couple that just like. Oh, well, one that stands out. My first time I had a really big match from after. I was with the Horsemen, and we had our first match for the world title in Baltimore. It was a pay-per-view, mm-hmm. and man, that that was a that, it was really electric in that <laughs> arena. Baltimore is always a great town, the old Baltimore arena. But that was that first time I wrestled Rick. 
for the world uh, title when I, after I'd come to WCW was I wrestled once in Florida my first year. I wasn't with WCW yet, but my first when I was part of WCW wrestling for that that was a that one jumps out to me. Is, yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Kind of jumps out at me first. Okay. That was that was a very but I had a lot of special matches and pay-per-views. Well, and let's talk about Baltimore. Baltimore always seems a very interesting wrestling city because it gets mm. like it got a lot of the old school like when it was so divided, like territory wise. Baltimore was the battleground. Yeah. WWF would dip through Baltimore, oh, yeah. and NWA would get as far as Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So there was all this contention. So there was always this possibility that you know maybe it's oversaturating the market, right. um, or there'd be some sort of like contention there, or the city would be divided. But it seemed like the, everybody just turned out for everything, and they just right. accepted the fact that they appreciated the fact that they were the battleground, and they got all the great matches on the Eastern right. Seaboard. And I had a run with Rick after that ma uh, the ma the match in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So we went to every building uh, in all the major cities, Phillies, a lot of WWE tours. As we we were sold out beforehand, we went maybe six months straight, selling out every building we were in. And then we came back through the major cities again and sold out. That was kind of unusual. Even Dusty was the head booker. Like man, this thing is. Like this thing's hot. He was like, man, and that was the time when um, the Crockett's were having financial trouble, and it was. I guess I heard they kind of already had a deal with Ted Turner, mm -hmm. and and because th that angle had gotten over so well, Crockett was starting to think maybe I shouldn't bail out of this, you know, because mm -hmm. we were we were selling out everywhere, but and we were, we're getting pretty hot again. Maybe we can weather the storm financially. I don't know the particulars of the Crockett's financially. But I think a lot of people know more than I did, but. Or I know about it, but I, I had heard that the Crocs were thinking, well, maybe we shouldn't uh, sell, sell off to Ted Turner, because mm -hmm. I mean that was that was an incredible run that that uh, Rick gave me with him at that time. It was it was it was amazing. All right, thirty yeah. seconds, and okay. three hundred dollars. Thirty seconds, three hundred dollars for this wonderful uh, picture, the sign of a mm. poster size that Lex will sign himself. Who is sitting on top of three hundred? David Cox, I believe, or. Yes, David Cox at 300. David Cox, you'll be getting his personalized. So we're still waiting to hear from Christopher Giles. They were going back and forth. Christopher seems to have not. Christopher, and also, too, guys, just a reminder, when you're doing these auctions, please, please, please let us know if you're in or you're out. Because once you say that you're is, out. 325 from Chris. 325, Chris. Um, that, that's what that's what we need. Let you know if you're in or out. Same with you, Dave. Let us know if you're in or you're out. And once you say you're out, we can get the six second clock, and then we can get the thirty second, and then Dave, we can move forward. David's out, so three twenty five, sixty seconds. Three twenty five, sixty seconds. This is the this is the speed we should be going at. But when we when we get these moments, that's when we get to ask the, the yeah, juicy no, questions guys, about yeah, Rick. I like now this. you you worked with Rick very very early on mm. in your career. How nervous were you to wrestle Rick? And when did those nerves kind of slip away and get to the point that you just said that it was like a night off? Well, the first time I wrestled Rick, I was wrestling in Florida at the time. And we were at the Daytona Beach Ocean Center. And I had never, um, I'd never met Rick before. Rick came in that building, man. He had on the, the you know, the, the custom Brioni suit. And, the, and his reputation and the, preceded and himself. The, and the alligator shoes mm -hmm. and the, the, the Rolex and the big diamond rings and, Man, he came in a limousine. I, man, I said, man, I want to be like, I want to be like the Nature Boy. I was, I was, I was, I was pretty awestruck. Mm -hmm. First time I wrestled him, and I was like, wow. I was, I was came with his Louis Vuitton luggage over his shoulder, and I was like, man, I want to be like, I want to be like that guy. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if that ever really went away. I, I, <laughs> I definitely, uh, Rick was a real role model me early in my career. Mm -hmm. And then when I look at that picture there, and. Uh, he met some, did so much for me in my career, so uh, it was it was really special. So I, I would say that answer that question. The most nervous, and we were we were doing an hour of Broadway, mm -hmm. and I was so inexperienced. Only Rick could have got an hour out of Lex Luger six months into his career. Uh -huh. Rick called a sunset flip, which is a basic move in wrestling. I had never done a sunset flip, and I told Ricky, I go, Rick, I, I don't know how to, I don't know what what's a sunset flip. I heard Rick go. Oh my God! <laughs> like, you don't know what a sunset. He just Rick just is in his ring. I go, Rick, what's the sun flipping? He's like, Oh my God! 
<laughs> I got 47 minutes to go. Yeah, like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> but he got me through an hour of Broadway. Oh, wow. All right, 10 seconds. 10 so. seconds. Uh, 325. Uh, going to who? All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Sold for three twenty five. Chris Giles. Chris Giles, thank Chris you. Let us know if you want some personalized. Yes, Chris, let us know if you want it personalized. If you just want Lex to sign it, we'll have him sign it regardless. But if you want it personalized to Chris, please, please let us know. Congratulations to thank Chris. You. Chris, not yeah, messing man, around. Yeah, got a good one there. And we're not messing around next. Uh, this next one, this is a, a collection of stuff, actually. Now, you, like, you mentioned it a couple of times, you were a member of the Four Horsemen. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we... We, we obviously are selling that uh, promo with you and the Four Horsemen. Um, but also, mm -hmm. too, I looked around the office, and we have a lot of, well, a lot, a lot of Four Horsemen. Which there's, actually, a, there's a popular photo there. There's a very yeah. popular photo right there. And tell you what, I'll even, uh, I'll be honest, I'll put this, this picture, and I'm going to throw it in this box, which I have a Four Horsemen mega box, which Whoa. consists of a signed Four Horsemen picture, which has... Uh, the Tully, original, the original Tully, Arn, JJ, Rick, um, that will be in the box. That's the real. I mean, the original, the real Four Horsemen. Right also, there. too, I have Arn Anderson's book signed by Arn Anderson Ooh, as well. Nice. That will be in the box. I also have Rick's book also signed. Rick Flair. That will be in the box with Ooh. the signed picture with all four, with the signed Ooh. Lex eight by ten. Also, two Lex. Give you a little bit of love. I will have your signed oh, book in there wow. as well. Nice. Put there a signed book with Lex Luger in the that mega mega box right there. Also, two the DVD being a horseman with JJ Dillon will be in the box right here. Hopefully, the bids are coming in right now. We started five. Non-stop treasure trove. Now here. we're still going. I still got more stuff in this mega box. So if we're not rolling up on these bids right now you better hurry up because i'm going to keep pulling adams out of course barry windham also a member yeah. of the four horsemen Part of the hall right of fame four horsemen well, we're, hey, you're, i'm going to get a sh shoot interview right here yeah. of that also too the jim crockett promotion documentary right here mm -hmm. uh, feature featuring the four horsemen as well also too i got some signed pictures as well i got uh tully blanchard and baby doll right here classic uh, Classic. Also, too, uh, kind of a dark horse. I got Sid. He had a short run of the Four Horsemen as well. Got a signed picture of Sid Vicious. Nice. In there. Also, too, I have from Starcast. I have uh, Arn jacket pin. I also have a Rick jacket pin and a Four Horseman jacket pin. And couldn't forget, couldn't forget to put in a Four Horseman box. A Paul Roma shoot interview. Just threw that in there. <laughs> Just last second, that will be included in the Four Why Horsemen not? Mega Box. Well, he was a horseman. Right? He was. He was. Yeah, I yes, so. it was. So, yeah. but he'll be in there. All these items will be in there. Of course, the sign Lex Four Horsemen picture will be in there as well. Um, also, too, your book will be in there, Lex. Let's, nice. Let's take it out. Let's I'm honored to be a part of the Mega Box. You, you I'm honored for you to be here to be talking about yeah. the Mega Box Four Horsemen, and I'm sure you were honored to be a part of the Four Horsemen. Tell me oh, what it was like time. when they told you you were going to be a horseman. I didn't really understand the gravity of the time. I I knew Rick. I'd heard of the Four Horsemen. But if you had, when they told me, you would show me a picture, it's kind of weird, of Arn and Tully and JJ. I had no idea who they were. I, I couldn't appoint. You could put a, you, you could put them in a the lineup, but I couldn't have picked them out. Really? <laughs> I never, but I never met them. Yeah. Or seen them on TV. Mm -hmm. I was doing my thing my first year down in Florida, and I did not know even what they looked like. I'd heard of the Four Horsemen. Because everybody goes, man, you're going to be a horseman? Everybody's like, I go, well, yeah. <laughs> and they were like, but everybody, they were, everybody else, was, every, I think everybody else was more like, they, they were, oh, you're going to be one of the Four Horsemen? I, I go, well, yeah. I go, is that, yeah. but I was kind of like, is that a really big deal? They're like, dude, what is wrong with you? You're a wrestler, you don't know, you're going to be one of the horsemen? So I, I, I really, at the time, I, I mean, was kind of almost ignorant of what, what a huge deal it was. Yeah. I learned quickly what a huge deal they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. We figured out how big yeah, the four horsemen quick. were, yeah. and then how to do a sunset flip. Those are the two things you had to learn very yes. quickly. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Every horse, you better know how to do a sunset flip. Tully used to take me over and teach me uh, outside of Charlotte, where we're at right now. Oh, really? And uh, teach me stuff. 
Okay. Well, so, what were some of the lessons? Like, like, I think there's own bears the way I worked. They wanted to bring me a little bit up, up, up to par. So was it Tully who drew the short Tully. Tully. Yeah, yeah. Tully would take, there's not, like an outdoor barn or a ring. I don't know if it's still there. I heard it's still there. And they take guys and train them. And Tully took the time. I mean, we worked a lot of nights wrestling to be up the morning, go down there and work with me, which was pretty cool, Tully. Was it the Nelson Royals like like barn out there? Is that, that what it was? Been it? Could have been it. Open Mooresville. Could have been it. Yeah. Okay. So I was just wondering, you just sent outside of Charlotte. Was there a Western store right in front of it on the street? Yeah. You, you went there. Yeah. Nelson is that, is that Nelson, Nelson Royals? Royals? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tully used to meet me up there that, uh, like wow, one morning or two mornings a week, try to bring my my wrestling abilities a little more up up to where that I was not where they were. Mm-hmm. Aren't Tully and Rick, but they didn't want me to be like the you know like the loose loose link in the chain too mm-hmm. much. And, so. and was it was it working or did you feel like uh, like oh, working get, with Tully was pull getting... it personal one on one with Tully Blanchard? Yeah, definitely. Oh wow. Yeah, he's a great he's a great great tech t- tactician and technician. So yeah, it was great. And what was it like working with Arn? Arn was uh, Arn was a great worker of course, yeah. but he just said Arn has like the quick one of the quickest wits and and uh one of the funniest guys to be around. I was a cage match once in L.A. and they had the wrong kind of ring, so they had to put the cage uh, outside, outside the ropes and us inside the ropes. So we were in a cage match, but there really wasn't a cage around us. And I was with Rick, Arn, uh, and me against the Row Warriors, and I think like Dusty Rhodes. And Rick got out there bouncing around Row Warriors, and we could just reach out and touch them because we're inside the ring with the cage behind us. And, and when Arn Arn just had the greatest lines, I said, I was like, I'm brand new. I go, Arn, Arn, shouldn't we do something? This is this is really lame. Shouldn't we do something? Arn sit there and think of, he goes, he goes, I'm thinking eggplant. I'm thinking Arn Arn, <laughs> Arn didn't they call me eggplant. Like I didn't know anything about the business, but he comes up with just stuff like that, and just he'd make you laugh so hard. Arn was, Arn was, uh, and still is, just uh, one of the funniest guys to be around. He kept the locker room and just laughing all the time. Great guy. What about JJ? What, what what did JJ you know bring the Four Horsemen like as far as credibility, as oh, far yeah. as being a manager? JJ had that that business image and that cool, calm, and collected and calculated. He he played that role. I, I, the pieces they put together with that Horseman, there's you know JJ was also a very integral part of that. Mm-hmm. He they all fit together. It was it was amazing. So it was, it was pretty cool to be part of that group for a while. Mm-hmm. It was a real honor. We'll see if we got somebody who's honored enough to get this Four Horsemen box. What, where are we sitting on the bids right now, Michael? Well, I'm not going to read them all to you, but we're currently at 225 with David Cox. 225 with David Cox. David, you wow. already already got the, the poster. There's right? a lot of stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff. The I didn't know they made Four what Horsemen. What are these lapel pins? Like little jacket these? pins. That's a, that's a cool jacket thing the kids or... got these days. Really? Yeah. I better get with it. Uh, you and me both. I yeah. ordered some for myself. So, wow. But also, too, your signed book's going to be in here. Let's talk. Like, like let's talk about this book. Yeah. Uh, how, how? Like, kind of give me a preview of it, of this book, and it, the things that are in it. it. Covers, I've heard good things about it. I've heard it a lot of good things. It covers my whole career, uh, really my life. It's my life story. My growing up in Buffalo, New York, and my football career. How I transitioned to wrestling it has a lot of really great uh, wrestling stories in there. Behind the scenes stuff of my career. Uh, it goes over a lot of the really difficult times when I made a lot of bad decisions in life and how God rescued me from that and uh, the transformation God made in my life on April 23rd of 06 mm-hmm. when I came a born again believer and by the grace and mercy of God it goes over that so it covers how that changed my life in a totally different way of instead of just always focusing on me I God started making me focus on him and other people and, and what, what a peace that gave me that I had never had. I had like a full life as a wrestler, but I, I, I had an empty heart. And that and, and Jesus was for me the missing piece. And uh, that just tells the whole story because I was I was like a total non-believer, unchurched, and basically an atheist. So when people heard that, that I, I'd become a born-again believer, everybody was in shock. Mm-hmm. And uh, But that's what God does. He seeks all of us. Uh, he beckons all of us. And uh, I'm very thankful, and I, I think Tyndale is a big publishing company, and they uh, had me come in and speak at their company. They have a big publishing company in Chicago, and they called me a few months later and said they wanted to 
publish this book because they they that's how much they like my story. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's very special to me because it really really talks about my life and how how I was rescued from a very dark place at, at one point in my career. Mm -hmm. Stephen Matthew uh, bid Mr. Cox by five dollars up to two thirty, and then David said no, two seventy five. So okay. David's still the high bid, but he's. He jumped it up way up to 275. Okay, Dave has got us at 275 right now, and rightfully so. There's all kinds of, of stuff in here. Um, like I said, we've got a Barry Wyndham interview as well. What was Barry like? You, you tagged with him a couple of times. Oh, man, smooth. Gosh, I, I, I think a, Barry what a underappreciated. Natural, underappreciated. What a natural on the ring. Mm -hmm. Barry and I had a great time outside of the ring, too. We got always got along really well, but he was so smooth. What a natural talent. Do you think that was like second two generation? Two the smoothest guy, Bobby Eaton and Barry Windham are like really? two of the smoothest workers. Okay. First time I worked with Bobby Eaton, I he was so smooth, he'd throw a punch, I didn't feel it. I go, did he? And I, I wasn't like responding well uh -huh. and selling well for him because he was so like they call it light. Mm -hmm. Bobby, I just, Bobby, I just call him smooth, like smooth operators. And ring Barry was just fluid and natural. He was just a a great worker. I just really admire the way he worked. I always hear that about Bobby yeah. too. Like you could put an egg on your nose, yeah. and when he comes off of that Alabama jam, it would even yeah. break an egg. No, I'm I'm amazing. Yeah, amazing. But with Barry, yeah, Bobby or Barry could have a, a good match with a broomstick. Yeah, and, and Barry had that wonderful size, that blonde yeah. hair, that wonderful look that he had. Yeah, for a guy his size, the way he moved around the ring, on it was it was it, it's uh he was incredible. I think yeah. I think his fluidity gets lost in how big he is, and you, and you forget how big he is in his size. It's unusual. Yeah. yeah. Us big guys like me got a little more robotic. You know, <laughs> Barry was just smooth. He was great. I remember he used to do like a top rope elbow drop. Yeah. It was just just yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Right. 60 seconds to uh, David Cox. Okay, 60 All seconds right. to David Cox. Well, David, I'm going to run through kind of the stuff. Oh, uh, well, like I said, it's a signed Lex book, um, signed Rick book. We've Man. got... Um, uh, DVD with Barry Windham talking about his entire career. Uh, JJ talking about being a horseman. Signed Arn Book as well. Of course, signed Sid Vicious. Signed Sid Vicious. Tully and Baby Doll. Tully and Baby Doll right here. Jim, Jim some Jim Crockett stuff. Jim Crockett documentary right there. Four horsemen. Four horsemen. You're signed throwing Lex. That in there. Throwing the, you're getting two Lex autographs in here. Jacket pins. Jacket pins. All the cool kids are wearing them these days. An original and Four Horsemen. the classic, the original. Absolutely right like here. Like Coke Classic Man right there. And also Paul Romo, shoot interview, thrown in there <laughs> just because he was a horseman as well. And we're right was. now sitting at 30 second or less right now. 30 seconds. All right, we're at 30 seconds. So walking away with just a steal right here. We only got one more item um, before we wrap it up. It's going to be a very unique item. Can't wait for us to get to that, and mm. uh, we actually got a picture of it. It's so big, I can't even put it on screen. Really? Wow! And, and it's gonna it's gonna spark a lot of discussion, and I'm excited for wow. that. But we're gonna do auction off one more item, and then we'll conclude this, and then you'll get on the phone call with Richard Atkins, nice. and then we'll get to get you right out of here because you're si done signing everything. So I am. We've gone through it, man. Gone through it, and we're gonna get you out of here. And we're gonna get through with this uh, four horseman mega box in ten, nine, eight, seven, six. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much, David Cox. You are the winner of this Four Horsemen Mega Box. Now, this next item this is going to be hard to even display, but I believe we have a picture of this available. This right here, this this big thing right here, this big wadded thing. This is a ring skirt, Lex, and this is okay. a this is a WCW uncensored pay per view ring skirt. I believe it's official. The, official. WCW uh, 2000. Not a replica. Uh, not a replica. This original. is original. Original. Official. Right? Official. Wow. Real and, and and it's it's only good that we brought this one out. This is WCW Uncensored 2000, where you wrestled Sting in a lumberjack match Ooh. on said pay per view. So, nice. I remember that. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. So what yeah. what were your memories of wrestling Sting? You guys were friends. Well, you know, they always say when you wrestle your friend, chemistry, sometimes it meshes, sometimes it doesn't. But what was it like wrestling Sting? Well, Sting was so easy to work with because he's so talented. But I always, I, from my view standpoint, um, I didn't quite feel like I synced with him as good as I, sh I should have mm -hmm. because we were such good friends outside of the ring. It was, I didn't feel like 
but we always were totally in sync with each other. Mm -hmm. So, but I mean, he might have had a different perspective, but and we had some some okay matches, but um, um, because Sting is so good, but um, I, I didn't think like in ring wise, uh, we had like like unbelievable chemistry. Right? Yeah, because you, you think wow, best friends travel together all the time, thousands of hours together, that you'd have worked out these unbelievable matches. But we, we uh, I'm sure it wasn't his fault, but I never felt like we totally had the, we, I, I felt we worked better together as like a tag mm -hmm. together, which I guess kind of makes sense to think about because we were such good friends. But when they put us against each other, even a lot of times the fans always kind of thought of Sting and I as, as, as such a, a kind of linked together mm -hmm. and they liked us fans usually really liked us to be together rather than against each other mm -hmm. so I may, maybe my, my thought of our matches weren't that didn't have the same chemistry because maybe part of it was the crowd response yeah because a lot of the people didn't like it some people did I didn't like it when you used to wrestle against Sting I liked it when you guys were always fighting together mm -hmm. so and that could have something to do with it you know that's a good question I never really thought about that mm -hmm. I haven't been asked that question before really about our chemistry so um, that's that's a good question. Because it always goes one way or the other with friends. Like sometimes it's yeah. like you're too relaxed with your friends, and then other times it's like yeah. you almost need a little bit of contention. There needs to be a little bit of a, you know, right. a, a competition that's actually going on. In that's scenario. pretty insightful. So I would think to answer your question, you know, I'm trying to sort of thinking about. It, I'd never been asked that question before. I, if I if I had to lean one way, like we're such we're good friends, so we had unbelievable matches, which some guys did. Mm -hmm. I, I would probably go a little bit the other way. Mm -hmm. We were such good friends and maybe got in the way almost a little bit of having maybe good as matches as we could have or should have oh. together. Mm -hmm. So. But you said you were great as a team, though. What are some great memories of you guys teaming together? Oh, man. Some of my favorites, and we won the Crockett Quack, Quack Cup yeah. very early in our career. That was big. And I guess one of my favorite match tag with him, we wrestled the Steiner Brothers in a pay-per-view. Yes. I believe it was like a match main, it, main event. I, and me not being known as the greatest worker, you know, I had the physique and all that, and I had a wonderful career that I'm thrilled with. Mm -hmm. But, greatest worker, um, to be in a match of the year, if I was involved, uh, we had a tag match against the Steiner brothers, and everybody thought it was going to be a real, st Arn, Arn said in the back, that's going to be a real stinker. <laughs> and uh, we went out there and tore the house down because uh, Stinger got the idea that we should, with two babyface teams and fans wouldn't know where to go with, Instead of kind of establish one team as the bad guys, let's just go out there and just from start to the opening bell, just throw all of our best moves at each other uh -oh. and tag it in and out and just go for it. And, man, we did that. The crowd just absolutely loved it. I, I still watch that match back sometimes because hmm. I remember about a feeling. We were so proud of ourselves. We were still kind of a lot of the, the veteran guys. Even Rick came up to us and he had a match with one of a famous – Japanese wrestler, and Ric Flair came up to us and goes, wow. Like, number one, we didn't expect it, but, but Arn was like, and Rick says, that one's going to be hard to follow. <laughs> that's awesome. I know, so and, and was, that's a very memorable tag match with Sting and I working together, and Steiner Brothers are one of the best tag teams ever as well, so but that, that's a very memorable one for me. And Sting was the one that kind of came up with the, the, the oh, yeah. layout of the Sting psychology. Had, Sting had a great psychologist. Nobody ever talks about that. Talk, tell me like how Sting was as like a ring psychologist oh, in general. Oh, master. Really? Master. Oh, yeah. He was incredible. I had a great match with uh, Big... Uh, he's a giant then, but Big Show one time. And I was having a match, and I think it was Nashville, Tennessee one time, on a pay-per-view, and I ended up getting him in torture right. The crowd went nuts. It was mm -hmm. during the... Monday Night Wars, mm -hmm. and I felt like an ant on a watermelon with Big Show on my back. <laughs> He's asked me to walk around the ring and go, I can't. I, I feel like I'm in cement shoes <laughs> with you up on my shoulders. But before the match, I, I went to Sting. He's like, what, what do I do with a guy like that? You know? mm -hmm. So I'm usually like the big guy. Here I'm a little guy in the ring with him. And ring worked out. Sting went in the ring with us oh, wow. before the match and went through some moves. and he would throw some big haymakers at him because he has that hair. He's so tall and right and left. And, and I never throw a left-handed punch. I, I was never a puncher anyways. Sting put together a great little match with him and I that we did, and the crowd loved it. And they came unglued when I got Big Show up in a torture rack. Uh -huh. And Sting put all that together. Yeah, he was, no, he was 
Sting could put a match together for himself or other people. Really, yeah, really you don't, good. You don't hear that a lot. No, so his Sting is he's good. Okay. Well, really. Let's read the uh, the bids. I'm gonna skip the ones until we get to 100. Okay. Drew Smith started us at 100. Drew Smith, he got us right at 100. Chris Giles went to 125. Thank you, Chris Giles, get us 125. Jake Holton went to 150. Jake Holton, 150. David Cox, not done tonight, 175. David Cox, 175. You are not done, David Cox. Lane Thompson went up to 200. Lane Thompson got us to $200. Drew Smith went to 210. Drew Smith, 210. Lane came back to 225. Lane, 225. Karen Emerson jumped in at 230. Thank you, Karen, for jumping in. Drew Smith went in at 240. Drew wasn't done at all. And Lane Thompson went in at 250. Lane Thompson, you got us at 250. I appreciate Drew that. Drew back to 260. Drew not done either. Karen, Whoa. Karen's fighting at 270. Karen is 270. Lane Thompson at 300. Lane, you, you were smart to get the 300. I appreciate you. And the current high bid now is AJ Lanigan at 310, who we haven't heard from all night. AJ Whoa. Lanigan, will you finally tune in the at late 310? Comer. Late comer. You know, you follow me on social media all the time. Comes AJ. in big. Come in big at 310. Yeah, yeah. Well, man. this is an actual WCW. That I, is. That's part of wrestling history, right? Yeah. I, I, there is no more WCW. No. This was a very late in the WCW era, right? Yeah, this is the 2000. Like yeah. I said, very, very late. And uh, very lucky to get our hands on it. I know we've been flashing the, that the picture of it. That is official wrestling history right there. Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just interject because a lot of people want to know maybe the, the chain of custody on this. Yeah, please tell me the chain of custody, Michael. So, uh, when when Dusty Rhodes left WCW, you know, when all that stuff went that he, okay. he got a lot of that st stuff. Okay. He bought nitro canvases from him and stuff. I didn't get this piece from him, but someone in Tennessee who was a collector did and okay. held on to that for 20 years and was cleaning out their storage unit. And about, about a year and a half ago, the person with the storage unit contacted us and we bought all the contents that he, that he had left. So Dusty had that for a while, collector in Tennessee had it, and then we acquired it. Yes, because actually, believe it or not, when I first showed up to the High Spots office, we actually had WCW Nitro, uh, the crash mats outside the ring that had the flames on it. Those were around our training school rings. Because another time, Michael uh, basically had Dusty contact him. He was like, hey, I need some extra Christmas money. So, so Michael bought all those Nitro crash pads um, from Dusty. And I guess what Dusty was doing that for a lot of people was selling off old WCW fixtures and I guess this this was oh, in you Tennessee. might not know is stuff like that been been like clean and kind of uh, 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 professionally clean or do you leave it like as is I, it's as, as sort is of like sweat and blood uh, maybe the, the, this particular one I noticed in the white there was like little like red stains which I can only assume Vampiro was on the card that's all I can I assume <laughs> Vampiro put a little bit of his so blood. There might be a little sweat, blood, and tears in there. Yeah, huh? yeah, it's definitely not clean. I can promise this thing is dirty. I can promise <laughs> you it's been sitting. <laughs> Does that make it more valuable, yeah. right? It's 18 feet wide. It is 18 feet wide. That's why wow. it's in a bowl right now. But uh, uh, the video, right, uh, the picture that we're probably popping up right now, that is me just stretching it across the little 12 by 12 table in the back, and it's still draping over the side. Massive. Yes, I, I did an Instagram video on it. I had to get on a ladder, the, t the, the roof of this building, just to get a good shot oh of it. All, all of my iPhone 11, like I, even my iPhone 11 couldn't get it wide enough to get a decent enough shot. People have always asked me, like I've auctioned a lot of my stuff off for charity yeah. and stuff through the years. And like all my wrestling stuff, people ask, is that robe? Is it like been cleaned and stuff? And, but they really don't want it clean. They no, want, no. They want, they, most people prefer that. They go, no, I never really like clean that that's I sweat and you know stuff that that's you're, there's a little bit on there you know what I mean a little bit of DNA but the fans kind of like that yeah you know? and you definitely yeah. like this this WCW yeah. ring skirt I just want to give you maybe one more update as we're wrapping up here okay uh, last update I gave you was AJ Lanigan at 310 okay AJ Drew, Drew Smith came back at 320 okay Drew's not letting it go Lane Thompson who has been Okay. Heavily involved in this from the beginning is at 350. Lane's the high bid. Lane Thompson is heavily involved in this whole thing. 350. AJ, let us know if you're in or you're out. Same with you, Drew. You can either jump in or get in, get out, and we, we can do that. Just let us know if you're in or you're out right now. 350. 350. 
five zero is the top bid for this WCW ring skirt. Karen uh, Emerson is now at three sixty five. Three sixty five. Karen Emerson, thank you so much for that. And of course, we're no longer doing five dollar increments. We're at least ten dollar increments right now. But Karen Emerson, right now at three sixty five. It would be a big auction without Brian Kanabrowski. He's in at three eighty. Brian Canabrasi came in at 380. We should see this at four. Easily uh, four. Like you'd think this has got to go for at least four. I mean, this is so official. Someone's asking me what year is it from? 2000. And from what it, the what the logo looks like to me, it, it's it's 2000 because I think Uncensored took a year off and then it came back with this different logo because it's got the the weird looking WCW logo mm -hmm. that's got the really big C that's really long right, and right, weird. Right. There's actually a name for it on the Tony Schiavone podcast, but it's a little too dirty to say on this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, Drew Smith is in at 390. Okay, Drew Smith got oh, us at Oh wow, there you go. So I know this is going to go over four. That's this, a nice piece. It's, it is a, it is a it's nice a piece. It's a big piece, and it's a nice piece. Now, uh, WCW 2000. You, yeah. you, you, yeah, it was three simultaneous $400 bids, so I'm going to let them work it out without reading their names. Okay, mm -hmm. well, we're, they're going to work out right now 400 but i got to ask you. you you'd been involved in, in the Crockett's, and you kind of mm -hmm. saw the end of that, and then now here you're in WCW, and you're seeing the end of that. Mm -hmm. Like, What were your thoughts towards the end of WCW? Were you just happy to be there? Was it, was it, were you feeling sad? Were you unsure of your future? Like, What was your mindset? I never... I never lacked confidence. I was worried about my future, whether it's gonna be wrestling or something else in life. It's one thing I, I never had, so I wasn't worried about my wrestling career. I think at the time, when you talk about when WCW was coming to an end. Yes. Um, my, because I I'd already had a great 15-year career, mm -hmm. and I was looking to do other things with my life at the time, and fitness, and nutrition, and stuff. So I was kind of, you know, at different stage. I guess. I was kind of sad. I thought the number one. The, I thought the competition brought the best out of both companies, and I I truly thought that they stayed with it. That eventually maybe we were winning, we were pummeling them, and they cut. Then they overtook us, and we were down. I thought I, I thought there was potential. We would we could have kept on doing that, mm -hmm. and brought the best in both companies. So that was kind of like, wow, you're just gonna sell it off. When we the first time we kind of take take a little downturn, and uh, so that was kind of disappointing, as I thought there could have been more, yeah, other other Monday Night Wars. And the second thing was probably, um, I felt bad for the young guys because I felt like um, financially, obviously, it's better when there's two major companies at play, because for contracts, our contracts when uh, the Monday Night Wars hit and stuff, our, all of our contracts went up big time. Uh, so we made a lot more money in our contracts. Mm -hmm. So I felt like for the for the guys that didn't have the advantages I have with the wars and the contracts, things like I figured that the, the leverage the guys would have negotiations with just one company wouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. I answered it, so I felt kind of bad for some of the guys. And WWE, if they if they're the only game big game in town, you know, I wouldn't blame them for using that for leverage and negotiations. So I, I, I kind of felt for the young guys there too. I was a little felt kind of sad for them. Well, hopefully we, we don't feel sad for too many people in this auction, but who we got? So before I tell you the, what the high bid is, just someone pointed out that this card, in addition to uh, uh, Lex versus Sting, had Dustin Rhodes versus Terry Funk. Okay, Dustin Rhodes, Terry Funk. Sid Ronnie. Vicious versus uh, Jarrett. Okay. Mm. And Hogan versus Flair. Hogan oh, versus wow. Flair was on this, so... They're sweating, well, well, Rick and... Who knows? Sweat, blood, and tears, yeah. And, so, uh, wow. How did that... Group of 400, one person bid 410. I think I think someone that we know, you know, Brian maybe might be holding out to the last minute. But right now, Lane Thompson at 410 is the high bid. Okay, Lane Thompson, 410. You were the top bid. Um, whoever has been going back and forth at 400, we had multiple $400 bids. You guys kind of sussed it out. Lane Thompson is on top with 410. But everybody that's been kind of going back and forth with us, let us know if you're in or you're out or you can do better than 410. But uh, uh, but uh, you said you, you know, let's go back to something you were saying about like speaking of doing better. Uh, you were thinking like maybe outside of wrestling and talk about fitness or something. You had a gym with Sting. Yeah. Tell me what it was like to be a gym fitness. owner. We were, tell, tell me what it was like. We to be were a gym like owner. the Venice Beach of the of the East Coast mm -hmm. and down in Atlanta there, Main Event Fitness. We had people come from all the country work out at our gym. Really, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Was, yeah. was it ever a headache? Did you have good people involved with no, it? No, we had great people involved. It was 
we had all, we had people from all, every walk of life in there. It was it was uh, it was quite the quite the gym. Well equipped. People loved that place. I got people. If I'm in Atlanta, people go, "Man, I sure wish you still had a main event fitness here in Atlanta." <laughs> I get that all the time. I mean, well, that's especially how especially now. And that's like almost 20 years later. They go, "Man, I mean, we should still let a gym at that main event fitness in Atlanta." <laughs> I was gonna say, especially now. I still see like some of the T-shirts from the gym people wear. Really? Yeah. Oh, we should look that up. Maybe we could have found a couple of those online. We could auction mm -hmm. that off. But that would have been. Well, I used to wear our logo in the ring all in the ring all the time, you know. Was our gym, my knee pads, and my tights. Is that what it was? The, with the blue. I, I was a shameless promoter. Well, I mean. <laughs> I didn't really. I couldn't believe WCW never never like called me on it. I used to wear our gym logo in all my tights. <laughs> They're not gonna say anything. I'm gonna wear it. I'm sure Sting, who was probably part owner, loved it. I was like, hey, yeah, Kevin Nash just goes, man, you are something. You wear all your logo stuff on, on national TV. <laughs> all right, we gained one new entrance. So uh, went back and forth. Kieran Emerson got us up to 440. Brian got us to 450. Okay. And Andrew Hurd, probably not related to Jim, at 460. Andrew Hurd, not related to Jim Hurd, got us to 460. So... Any, any memories of Jim Hurd at all? Any interactions? You know, I never had. I know that people have some crazy s stories about him, but I, I personally never had really we had, uh, some tough negotiations. But Jim and I, I saw him a while back in the airport. We had a nice conversation. Jim and I got along okay. Yeah. So I don't have any Jim Hurd horror stories or anything like that. He didn't want to make you a ding dong? No, no, <laughs> no. But he didn't mess. Jim never messed with me too much. Okay. Him and I, him and I got along okay. That's good. Yeah. Oh. I, mean, I think like everybody else, we were wondering why he was in charge of a wrestling company mm -hmm. based on his background. Yeah. I mean, no offense to Jim. It's not like it wasn't his fault. Mm -hmm. I mean, he got a good job offer. I mean, he took it. But I didn't think he had the background to, for a wrestling type company, really. So I, I was kind of along with the guys on that. But I never had any, any like personal like run-ins with him. Mm -hmm. So him and I were okay. Who was, who was your favorite person to work for in professional wrestling. Wow. Doesn't have to be a major company. It could have been like an indie promoter one time that took a super care of you, but of all the people that you worked well, for. Oh, who started me? Hario Matsuda started me. He was one of the owners of the company. Okay. On Champion Wrestling Floor, so I mean, he immediately jumps to mind. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But, you know, Vince McMahon and I always got along really good. He used to have me over his home and work out together. We, we always had a very good relationship. He always treated me very well, like a family member. Okay. And, uh, Eric Bischoff always treated me right. Mm -hmm. We had a couple of disagreements, but never anything major. And Eric always took good care of me. He said I was a a, a high performance, low maintenance guy. Oh. Never had a lot of problems with me on what what he asked me to do. I didn't. Why am I? Why you had me do that? He he called Sting and I. He goes, you guys are, you guys are, you, are you my high performance, low maintenance guys. Awesome. Which was a compliment. That's, yeah, that's yeah. a very good compliment. But yeah. Let's back up to something he said about Vince McMahon. You worked out with Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah. What's he it like? going to the gym. Oh, what, what, what's it like working out with Vince McMahon? I'm curious about this. Oh, he's right there with you, man. He's a great workout partner. Are you kidding me? He's intense. Yeah? I mean, that guy is a that guy is a, a force of nature energy-wise. I mean, he's up early, stays up late, he eats, sleeps, and breathes the business. I mean, that guy, it's, a, it's a, and, and people used to say, I, I was a high-energy guy. He, I'm like, he was, he was impressive. Yeah. My, my experience with him, he was, a, he was impressive mm -hmm. in that regard. He's a, he's a hardworking guy, man. He really is. He loves what he does. We'll see if yeah. there's any hard work going on in the auctions right now. Where are we sitting on the bid? Still trying to clarify whether uh, that 460 was a bid for this, because he just said Hogan versus Flair 460, so maybe I, was, I jumped the gun. But we're, we're waiting for clarification on that. But... That's Andrew Hurd, and we're still waiting for Brian and Karen to respond. Okay, Brian, Karen, let us know if you're in or you're out. We're clarifying for sure the 460 bid on this being. Yeah, get with it. Yeah, get with it. Just get, we're at a standstill right now. Um, you're just trying to figure out so we can get this canvas so we can get the Richard, get you can get Richard Atkins' video chat. You can get right off of that because as soon as we auction this off, we can close this up. This is the last item that we have. And close the evening out. So we're clarifying that. So, but Brian, Karen, let us know if you're in or you're out, and let's clarify everything on the 460 Last bid. Last item, get it while you let, can. Get it while you can. We'll, we're coming back here next Thursday with Sammy Guevara, who is a nice. all all elite wrestling superstar. Yeah. Have you watched any of the all elite? Oh yeah, it'd be great. They're the 
fabulous. Who are some of the I guys that I love that there's that competition again, like we yeah. just talked about earlier. Any guys stick out to you, like they really from AEW, like Cody Rhodes or? Well, I, love, I can't believe how Cody just continue to get better and better. Mm -hmm. He's uh, his uh, in ring work is maybe not the best of anybody, but it's top notch. And is is on the mic. Mm -hmm. Gosh, man, has he grown up? I know, I'm so right? proud of him. Yeah. So yeah. They got a bunch of, they got so many good workers there. Anybody else that pops in mind? Like, I liked, like, it'd be surprising if you like Lex Luger's like, ah, oh, I like that Orange Cassidy. <laughs> I don't know if he's my favorite, but. <laughs> well, just the fact that you know who he is, yeah. I didn't realize we lived in a universe where that yeah, would happen. That's kind of, you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, I want you to, I want to hear more about that. No? No? Are you a fan of, uh, of Orange Cassidy? I, 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 I don't dislike him. I just, maybe he's not my favorite. <laughs> at AEW. <laughs> But you, but you reacted when I said Sammy Guevara, though. So uh, but I like some of the silly. I mean, I, I like that stuff. Yeah. You know? yeah. But you asked me who I think is like the, the top, you know, the top performers there. So. Okay. Yeah. And how's it, how's it, uh, how impressive is it to see Chris Jericho still do his thing? Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I saw Chris coming up. I knew I knew he was a good worker, and everything, but I never thought he'd reach the heights and the versatility of that guy. Is that like an entertainer? And, he announced that one time, like he'd been doing it his whole life. Yeah, he's great on commentary. The talented guy. Yeah, I know he's talented. He does music and everything, but man, mm -hmm. what can't Chris do? I know. I get, yeah. I, it's it, it's entertaining for me just to see the commentary of him, just trying to, you know, like man. pop to Tony Schiavone yeah. and get Jim Ross to stumble over his words yeah. from time to time. Yeah. So, so yeah, Chris is. I'm. It's great to see what where his career has developed. It really is. And Dustin Rhodes still doing yeah. his thing, like it just still. He's been rejuvenated. He's reverse aging. Yeah, he's just incredible. Yeah. For, for probably where I mean, you saw him as a as a young man. Like when you first saw yeah. Dustin wrestle, did you see like the potential there? No. Really? I thought he was a little bit mechanical. Oh, okay. So, like me, he was a little bit mechanical. <laughs> so one robot can recognize another robot, but <laughs> but. Um, no, I, he's really, he's really, he's much smoother, and he's a great, he's a definitely a high caliber worker now. Mm -hmm. He's worked hard at it, yeah. but I think the that he's got some real passion again. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's great. So I'm happy. I'm very happy for him. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I wrestled him like six years ago, and mm -hmm. he told me like, hey, when I hit the ropes, be ready because I'm gonna come off fast. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. You wrestling for about as long as I've been alive. Okay, we'll yeah. see. And sure enough, I I almost wasn't in the right spot at the right time. Oh my god! So fast. This is five years ago. Caught you off guard. Caught huh? me off guard. And I don't know if it's because of long legs or what it is, but he can move in that ring faster than anybody else. Any any twenty year old can't move wow. as fast as Dustin Rhodes. So just uh, unbelievable. Uh, it, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's remarkable. Cool. Ryan got us up to 500, and Kieran Emerson really wants us apron. 510 from Kieran. Oh, Kieran got us to 510. Brian's been battling back and forth. Um, you know, Kieran, Brian, let us know if you're in, you're out. Um, we're sitting at 510 right now. Give everybody more than enough time. This is time. a real deal, part of WCW history right here. We're exactly. Sitting in front of, man. Like I said, man. from Dusty Roads to a storage facility in Tennessee. Yeah, and now like, the there's like lint and stuff on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, and yeah. real real nice ropes on it yeah. as well. So, All right, pretty Brian, cool. Brian came back at 530. Brian got us to 530. Karen, oh let us know if you're in or you're out. WCW Uncensored. Out. Karen is out. 60 seconds on the clock. 60 seconds for Brian Kanabrowski, 530, which would be nice. Uh, I'm Brian sure might give himself a good one. He's a good one, and, and Brian at least comes by and picks up, picks up his items. There you so go. We'll, we'll have to put this in a box. There you go. So. No shipping costs. No shipping costs. But uh, it, you would have been over the free shipping anyways, regardless. Oh, uh, wow, yeah. really? Yeah, we do free shipping for $100. Nice. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. everybody could have bought all the promos. Man. They could have bought the Funko Pop. They could have bought all the I'm items. I'm start tuning in on Thursdays. It's something I want to get. I wish you would. We yeah. have a lot of great people you should tune in. I'm going to start bidding. You should, you should tune in on 4th of July. We're actually going to have Lex Luger, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and, and, and the... <laughs> huh? We're going to have who? Fourth of July, yeah. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Sergeant Slaughter, and the Patriot. Did I say Lex Luger? Nice. <laughs> well, Lex Luger's gonna be watching. <laughs> I'll tune in. He's tuning in. Yeah. Listen, I've been here for three hours, and it's, I, my, I, mom, I, it's my mom's I, birthday. Yeah. There you go. Fourth of July. 
Uh, we will hack Sergeant Jim Duggan, Sergeant Slaughter. The Patriot nice. will be here. Twelve hour sell And I'll be watching. And Lex Luger will be watching. So not false advertisement by Jake Manning's part. Oh, I, got okay. you. I, got you. I appreciate that. I appreciate. Thanks for looking out for the lookout, yeah, Lex. Yeah, Jake. So are we? Are we up to seconds. thirty seconds right now? Brian Canabrasi sitting at five thirty right now, on this mm. autograph. On this historical historical WCW piece. Peace. Thank you. Thank you for holding us together, Lex. Yeah, I'm, I'm going off the hey. rails. So. This is what happened. You've done a great job, man. You've been at it for a while. I, I, I was back there furiously, feverly signing. You were here talking about the storm. man. Yeah. I've, I've been spitting words in you this game right now. I'm impressed. So, right. And we're going to spit a few more words. I think we're close to the 10 second mark right now. And we're going to go to give this Brian Kanabrowski for 530 in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one congratulations brian kanabrowski you are the proud owner of this wcw uncensored nice. ring apron sir it's a good one as our last item uh for auction and everything else but people got a little mad when i didn't do a dvd special i do a dvd special at the end of all of our auctions and i forgot to do it last week and we got one this week and actually it's lex luger theme is uh the kayfabe commentaries interview you did on oh the, yeah on the wwe timeline uh, we normally sell it for twenty dollars on our website. Well, we're doing ten dollars. Lex Timeline ninety three. Um, just as a little add on, if you're close to the free shipping, like if you got ninety dollars, you can go ahead and pick this up for ten dollars, and that gets you the hundred dollar threshold and the free shipping domestically right there. So right here, Lex Luger Timeline ninety three. We'll add that to your order as a little little thing for ten dollars. Nice. But Lex. This has been a real pleasure and honor. Thank you, my friend. I can't thank Glad you enough for coming out and doing fun. this. Uh, fun. Yeah. Um, like I said, I look forward to next Thursday with Sammy Guevara, and I look forward to you watching. I had a high time at High Spots. <laughs> well, thank you so much for signing everything, Lex. It's been thank a wonderful you. time. Thanks for having me. And thank you to everyone who thanks watched the, fans, yeah. the virtual gimmick table. Anything you want to say before to your fans? Yeah, we've been doing this. It wasn't for you. Thanks, everybody. So thank Enjoyed you. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Tuning in. We'll be back next week with Sammy Guevara. Don't forget, 4th of July, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Sergeant Slaughter, and the Patriot, and nice. Lex Luger will be watching. There you go. Have a good night, everybody.